guys. Welcome back to another edition of JJ's Watch Hangout. It is Watch Talk Wednesday. What do you think of my new intro? Was that slick or what? See, I know you guys are happy. I see some smiles. I'm joined as usual. It's amazing. The man, Ali Reza in the house. Make sure you check out the ape lugs on the gram. And we got this guy down here, the butcher, Mr. Big Wrist. And of course, our friend Ari G in the house. Hello, hey, hey. fellas. How are we? We are wonderful. How are you? We are doing well. What are we wearing on the wrist today, fellas? What do we got on? I'll start it off. I am wearing a watch. I haven't been able to take off the wrist, the Hulk. It's been stuck on my wrist for weeks. You can say it's got a grip on you. Month, month and a half of the Hana Basara, so. The usual suspects. Let's see. Is Butcher got anything different for us? Butcher? He's doing the wrist twist. I like that. He does He does the wrist twist where he has to... What is that? Snoopy? It's a bamper yeah, the Bamford Snoopy. Uh, yeah. I ordered a, a, you know, a fairly inexpensive metal bracelet to put it on, and I, uh, I kind of like it. I kind of gave it that 70s vintage vibe. I saw that the um, one with the holes in it, right? It reminds me yeah. of the uh, Zenith. Uh, what was that Zenith we reviewed? It had the holes in the bracelet. Do you remember that? It was like a burgundy dial. I can't remember. So many. So what, what's the special so occasion? Many. I see Ollie and Butcher got the hair slicked back and ready to go. Everyone's hair is combed except for mine. <laughs> no. Yeah, no. Definitely not a special occasion. I need a haircut. And I oh. put... Uh, hey, guys. Uh, because it turns yeah. into the afro, as Givol noted the other day. Mm-hmm. So I put a, a little bit of uh, coconut oil in it just to keep it down. No oh. Dude, I need to shave. I need to get a haircut. I got to cut my coke nail. I'll I would just let it rock. Coke Go caveman style. Fuck it. You, know? <laughs> you only live once. Ari's got his hair slicked back tonight, too. He just came back from a mob meeting, but you know that's why he's <laughs> off camera tonight. That's it, exactly. He's, a he's, a, he's in that silk, uh, that silky gray suit with the uh, pink tie. He's got the shark skin on. You know the shark that's skin? That's right. That's very much my style. You, you got me to a T. You got me to a T. Yes. The shark, the shark skin Brioni on. <laughs> and uh, welcome uh, all the Archie viewers for joining us. Thank you. Welcome on over. So let's see. Who do we got in the chat? Let's say hello to the people, the watch people. We got Hot Watcher in the house. He says, what's up, watch people? Hey, Hot. We got our man, Sam Arxvide, both members of the crew, says, chow down, JJ, evening, gents. Hello, Sam. Welcome to the club. And we got our man, the butcher, kicking us off with a $12 super chat. He says, talk me off the ledge. It's a, I see Bremont in there, so I'm going to let Ali we'll cover it. Uh, we, we can talk about it later. <laughs> yeah, we'll get into that once we do our hellos. Uh, thank you for the generous super chat, butcher. Greatly appreciated. Uh, we got Snookered in the house. He says, looking forward to the show with JJ and the gang tonight. Have a good show. Thank you. Thank you. Yep, we got Anthony P's link up here. Make sure you subscribe to Anthony P's cigar channel if you want some cigar chatting. We got our man Robert Wood in the house saying hello to everyone. Damasco in the house. We got Marcello time in the house. Hello, Marcello. Marshmallow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We got uh, Ian in the house. He says hello from England. Welcome, Ian. We got our man DP reminding everyone to upvote. Thank you. And we got Anthony P saying, hello, guys. You're the best. Thank you. You're quite welcome. Got our buddy Phil in the house. What's going on, Phil? Glad to uh, see you can make the live. We got Mossy in the house who won um, a Seiko, uh, not a Seiko, I'm sorry, a Casio G-Shock of his choice uh, from Blake Ray, which was very kind of Blake. Uh, we thank him, who is also a new member to the crew. He is in the WhatsApp group. If you guys want to become members of the WhatsApp group, all you got to do is join. Click the join button down below. Brown's leveling up, and you get access to the WhatsApp chat group and uh, some private videos. Make sure you check it out. You know, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to interrupt you there for a moment, right? Shoot. So, first of all, I want to shout out to Mossy, your friend Mike, uh, Tariq, Shalari, a couple people in the WhatsApp group, right? They, uh, uh, as a, an example of, of, the, the you know the group that JJ's helped cultivate here, we had a member um, post a very vintage watch that was his grandfather's, uh, hard to identify, and wanted to figure out where to go to repairs. And no fewer than like five people immediately tried to get him in touch with watchmakers, make suggestions. 
whatever. Like it's it's a great group. So if you are subscribed at the bronze level above, you have the option of joining the WhatsApp group. Now for tonight, the Anthony P thing that I'm I'm plugging, I'm gonna drop his link again. Also, not unrelated because Anthony P is helping me out um with an issue right that i'm having he runs a bit of a little cigar community so tonight for the people as the banner says on the bottom you guys know at this point a lot of you know we do the super chat of the the night uh, uh race right if we can get anthony p's new channel to 55 or more subs he had 40 at the beginning of the night there will be three races three chances to win tonight with three prizes one is cigar related which will be completely separate than the end of the month November prize that, that JJ uh, and other people graciously contribute to. So I'll let JJ get back to it, but I wanted to make that announcement early on. I don't generally like talking about that early, but tonight's a special night. There you go. You heard it here, folks. Uh, first, folks, sign up to Anthony P's channel and you'll win a prize from Ali. Very kind. And we got a super chat from REG, $2. He says, sorry, ladies can't come on camera tonight. Oh, man. Ari, Ari breaking hearts as usual. Speaking of ladies, we got Blondie in the house. She wants to know watchers or dramers. I think as usual, we're going to cover a mixture of both. A little mixture. A little mixture, Blondie. We're, we're here We're here to talk about. There's a lot to talk about. A lot of craziness going on in the watch world. I was actually uh, talking to one of uh, my buddies before, uh, thinking about splitting uh, into another channel and doing an early show for drama. And uh, I mean, uh, for watches and a late show on a different channel for drama. Uh, I don't know what you guys think about that, but something something in the works. Bear says, I also upvote whenever I come to this channel. I love JJ. Thank you, Bear. Very kind of you. And we got two dollars from Robert Wood. He says he's in it to win it. That's right. We had uh, I forgot who won last uh, month. I got to check. I'm missing someone. I don't know, Ali, if you have. Uh, any, uh, I know I'm missing one person. I mean, I don't know, not that I think you have like a full record of it, but you might remember who the one person I'm missing is. Uh, otherwise, I gotta dig through the phone uh, and check it out. And for, uh, for the year, like one of the monthly winners, I have like oh, four, so four out of the five who never got in touch with you. Um, no, no, somebody else won that I remember mailing to. I just can't remember who it was. Um, Kurt was the first. I'll, I'll find, I'll, I'll look into it for you. Right. I have, I have Kurt, I have. Uh, I, I will go over it later. Yeah, yeah. Just, there's one one person is not I, technology. I got um, I, uh, Brian. I got. I'm just missing one month. I don't know who it was. It was someone that it's not ringing a bell. And we got Mookie with some horsies, five dollars. Thank you, Mookie. Greatly appreciated. Got our friend Mo in the house. Always love our tomato Mo. By the way, I'm gonna be mailing that yeah. stuff out to you guys. I think tomorrow. I just haven't had a chance to get to the post office, but. <clears throat> I got Ali, Mo, and GMT packages ready to rock and roll. Speaking of rock and roll, we got Bear Clooney watches in the house with $5 Canadian. He says, I subscribe to Anthony P, upvoted, and I want to be in the race. Love you guys. Well, thank you, Bear. Very kind of you. Uh, you are in the race of the evening. We are starting a fresh month. Today is November 1st, so you'll be in the November drawings. And uh, thank you for uh, subscribing. And if you guys aren't subscribed, make sure you subscribe to Bear Clooney watches. Because he does have the channel. Uh, Sam Marks vibe, two dollars Canadian. He says, may, "May my dues pay my dues to the Don." Thank you. Your kneecaps are safe for another week, Sam. And I think we are caught up. Oh, we have Golden Baba. Oh, hold on one second there. Mister GMT says, uh, "Hello, thanks, my sexy friend. You are quite welcome." <laughs> Rose Rachel Brady says, "The Media Mass Registry is coming January twenty twenty four." I look forward to seeing that. And we got Golden Baba becoming a new Diamond Level member. By the way, guys, that's Ooh. the highest level. Thank you, Golden Baba. It is always greatly appreciated. We love your continued support and hijinks in the chat. Let's see. Do go Ted. $10 Super Chat says, double down vote. Double down vote and single upvote from me tonight. All right. Thank you very much, Duco. By the way, uh, Duco is looking for... Um, a doxer, uh, he's lonely out in the woods. He says nobody visits <laughs> visits him. So, um, <laughs> if anyone would like to dox him, he would like to. Uh, he would like a visitor. He would like a visitor because it's lonely in the woods and he has lots of, uh, you know, toys. Toys. Rico, to I can add you as a waypoint on Onyx Backcountry, and you can get some <laughs> random hikers at your at your place, man. 
He will dox for food. Uh, there you go. I know someone else who will dox for food too. You know, it's pretty funny. Um, I was having a conversation. I wasn't going to really put it out there, but they already kind of put it out there uh, with Curly. And he, he was backstage of uh, a certain someone's uh, channel live stream. And that certain someone was uh, so drunk, they didn't realize that he was sitting backstage the whole time waiting to uh, waiting to pop on. Uh, but he wouldn't let him on. And uh, he pretty much revealed the same plan that we said it was, that he was hungry for Super Chats and it wasn't working out for him. So now he's trying to make an inroads with uh, Archie, which I thought was pretty funny because it went terribly for him. But um, now the new the new guy, I'm just giving a quick gossip. We could go back and forth tonight because I'm kind of just like whatever today. But um, <laughs> it's funny because now his videos are saying, Oh guys, we got to rally up, rally together, and show these guys we're not looking to give super chats, and you know we're looking to make art. So I wonder how well that's going to go over with the, his uh, his compatriots over at the uh, the other live streaming channels. That should be interesting to see. Uh. Okay. Golden Baba with a dollar ninety nine super chat. Thank you, Golden Baba says, "What color whale tail would you most likely buy?" Mm. What do you mean whale tail? I'm a little. Can you just tell me in the regular chat? Was, are you talking about like Ross's medium ass? Are you talking about like a big ass? I don't uh, know. Whale, I don't know. whale tails, uh, uh, that <laughs> like 70s and 80s, uh, 911 with the the great big uh, mm. wing out the back. They call oh. that the whale tail. I'm not embarrassed at all. <clears throat> yeah. <laughs> I don't know why I was. Yeah, whale about. tail when I was in college was uh, girl jeans <laughs> something riding different. Low. And I, I was thinking of, that's all I know. So <laughs> I was thinking I was like, that's an odd question to ask us to be. I don't think you want to see any of us with a whale tail. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I mean, the original like late 70s, 930 with the whale tail. Yellow? You what know. do you think? Yellow or red or what? What would you go with? Well, yellow's got that rough, you know, the roof, however you pronounce it, that uh, yellow bird look to it. Me, I I would go with something like Ruby Star or something like that, but that's just me. Oh, there you go, Ruby Star, giving you some good stuff there. And we got a very generous twenty dollars super chat from Blondie. We got to get Blondie on the stream one day. One day she's gonna. I know she's been going on with Nick, dipping her toes. Which shout out to uh, you know Blondie and Nick doing their thing. I'm gonna link over to Nick tonight, but uh, she says towards my. Watch time NYC faux pas losing my JJ long sleeve appropriate V neck. Yeah, it was a mild V neck. I told her kind of that was like a joke. Up, it was a nice. I had a nice woman's like shirt. The the short sleeve shirt looked like kind of like a little boy's shirt, but the woman's one was like what I say. Oh, conservative V. I, I go Blondie, do you want it? It's a V neck. She's like a V neck. I was like, well, it's a conservative V. It's a conservative V. So there you go. She says maybe an hour an hour post receiving. That's all right, Blondie. No big deal. Uh, Listen, we all lose. Uh, I've lost more than shirts, so all good. So can we uh, go all the way back to the top and answer and butcher a super chat? Sure, let's do it. So the model butcher is talking about, and I've documented my Vermont woes, is actually one of the coolest watches Vermont uh, actually makes. This is a mono push chrono, um, a tribute to the Vulcan. It's what, do you know what I mean? It's 42 mils. I think it's like 14 and a half mil thick. It's got uh, a different version of the triptych case. So it has all the, you know, Vermont durability. Um, I think you can get this for 20% off retail, right? And at that price, I actually think it's not a bad watch at all. So retail. Yeah. I like, you know, it has the rad and the old radar style embellishment on the textures it's not terrible i mean i don't yeah, know i like just, the side of the case it, too can you tell me why you want it because that's that's what are you like just looking to buy any something right now i'm not trying to knock you I, i'm just curious like, uh, what, what brought you to this and no you... no not at all not at all i have two watches that i really really would like to get eventually but they're on a uh what do you call a long-term plan? But something like this, I well, could just go pick up if I wanted to. Can I ask you, what, what, why is it a long-term plan? Like you have to wait for it or you're waiting to save the funds? Both. Because if you're waiting to save the funds, buying a watch to hold you over kind of defeats the purpose, right? No, no, I get it. But I would flip something to buy this. Does that make sense? 
Yeah. And I know the logic if I could just flip something else to to put into this. I hear you. I I was just wondering. Mainly I just have the itch to buy something. Mm. Yeah, no, I just have the itch to buy something. That's always the dangerous thing, right? It's like that's my problem. Like I I bought a watch the other day, right? Which I'm not getting until probably another, I don't know, six weeks, but it wasn't a hold me over. In fact, I didn't want to buy a watch. I, I'm waiting because I know a watch is coming in for me. Well, it's supposed to be coming in for the next couple of weeks. But I had to buy it because I just thought it was so cool. Like, is that how you feel about this? Otherwise, I would say give it some time. I like these, these aren't limited. Yes. Right? that's uh, No, these are extremely limited. Yeah, they are. Oh, these are, this is a limited, so you might have to buy this. Is that what you're saying? You might have to jump on this? R- no, if I no, really okay. want it, I should. I'll say that I, I think I have the most limited run that Vermont has produced and not precious metal so far. And it was around for a solid six or seven months. So I think he has a little bit of runway. Okay. I'm just saying like, could he wait, yeah. pick this up used a little bit down the road? Um, like, would he get a better probably. value? So if you take a look at, I don't know. All right, hold on. First of all, I want to say probably. thank you very much. This one, I think so. Z-Man. Thank you very much, Z-Man. Appreciate you becoming a member. Thank you, Z Man. Welcome to oh, man. the gang. Uh, then we got Big George in the house. I want to say hello to Big George. I haven't seen him in a minute. So, Big George NY says, Hey, boys, good to see you, Mr. George. Thank you for joining us. So, yeah, what were you saying? <laughs> there he is. Uh, I love Ross. I think Ross, this is I want to do a show with you, Ross. Please. Be able to pick up used. You know I, mean? He's, he, I think he's right because the ones you haven't been able to pick up used are like the. Um, the Enigma, you know, the crypto uh, breaker one. I think that one, like the only one that had gone to the secondary market was going for over 20,000. This is one I expect that you'll probably see on the secondary market event uh, soon. Right. Now, the thing is he wants to buy it now, though, because he wants something to hold him over. I mean, look, at the end of the day, I think, what? how much is this watch going for? I think it's nice. I think it's, it's nice. It's on retail. I think he can get 20% off. But... See, that's right. Yeah, I was thinking yeah. somewhere around well, four grand. Up. Sorry. Sorry. Good. No, I'm just saying I'm a sucker for this watch. Well, partially because I do like Vermont, but partially because it's the Avro Arrow, which is a, uh, can- a solely Canadian-made fighter jet in the 50s and 60s. Oh, okay. So, so there, that's an interesting fact, what this represents. I think what I need to do, JJ, is is I was thinking about this the other day, is, and let, let me know in the chat uh, to all of our folks is, is maybe I need to pick out and set a budget, and uh, and let our audience pick out the watch that I should no, buy. No, I think no, no, terrible idea. No, mm-hmm. here's one. terrible idea. So I I did something not dissimilar. I set a monthly budget just to keep the watch circle going, and yeah. the budget wasn't high enough that a watch would keep my interest beyond a very short honeymoon period, right? And the audience comes here from a channel you may have heard of, the RG Buy Luxury channel, which yeah. um, is actually the home of Shrek, like the troll, like just the ogre, right? Yeah. So you're going to get trolled ruthlessly with bad choices. It's a horrible <laughs> idea. <Jake. laughs> it's a horrible idea. <laughs> Maybe that'll be part of the fun is to see what kind you know of what craziness they come up with. Yeah, I if think Toyota Bowl, who says it's the best idea he's heard, yeah, you know you're screwed. You're totally, <laughs> you're totally screwed. I think it's a good idea. I think uh, uh, Ali is ruining a good time here. But no, no. Well, I mean, we could put some things in there. Here's what I think you should do. If you want to do something similar to that, which I think you should have the final say, what I think you should do is take a well, photo yeah. of your complete watch collection and then we choose because before that uh i don't think it'll be a good idea so now we got a super chat right, from Big people George. Know. right people need to see what you have what your style is before you could just go shopping it's too right. it's too it's like saying what car should i buy you like, i don't know do you have kids do you go hiking do you go do you do outdoors activities or right. do you live in a small city like it's it's very hard to tell without more info so, so I duco's i think a whale duco's trip. latest uh duco's latest uh text is classic reason why you don't want uh, the internet to pick your watch. Yeah, solid gold squale on a possum skin leather. Yes, I agree. <laughs> <laughs> so, so, we, so we got Big George's super chat here, two dollars. He says, "I'm a fan of the Zenith Rogers watch." Now, I think Captain must be a fan of this watch. Like, I don't know if he's a Zenith guy, but I mean, come on, this is this is like the Jets heaven right here. Um, I think this is as horrible. <laughs> I don't. I don't like this at all. I don't even know. I, I saw the article. I I actually skimmed right past it because I had zero interest in this. 
Uh, but please enlighten me if anybody wants to talk about this news. No, I, I think it's I think it's terrible. I think the the, the what the Chrono Master did really well was introduce a beautiful color gradient across the three sub dials and that matched and blend with whatever the main dial was. And then they threw the rose gold model in there, which wasn't you know terribly bad. This just ruins that. Mm -hmm. This ruins the aesthetic of the Chrono Master. Yeah, that, I think so too. It makes it look cheap and cheesy. I'm sorry. I, it's just my off the cuff opinion. I didn't really look into. Are those like Damascus steel patterns? I don't even know what's going no, on. No, th that's just a. Uh, I forget what they call it. It's it. No, they're they're it's terrible not. rendering. Excuse me. A very early '90s cr uh, cross color jeans vibe. I don't know why. Oh, great. I can see guess jeans advertisements in my head. I just think the Chrono Master Sport is such a beautiful watch. In all the variants they've introduced to date, that this was a mistake. Yeah, I, I don't. I just, I, like you said, I, I think what they do well is their colorways that always slick pad. Like this is just not slick to me. I'm sorry. It's just, I don't know. It looks goofy. It reminds me yeah. of early '90s, very yeah. dated kind of. This was a mistake. <laughs> so, Mookie, I think we, this was what. This is why I don't like to fall behind on the chats because then you, you have other conversations going but Mookie is his member chats by the way thank you for being a member of Mookie and if you're not sub to Mookie make sure you sub to Mookie's channel he has some fantastic uh stuff going on there he's doing streams lately we got some uh some hang some hanging out in the streams we got some chats we got videos you got it all there he says does this brim on come with a 930 turbo <laughs> actually I actually like that brim it was it was nice looking to answer your question I hate I don't want to just like talk I just I always feel like you go back and forth. Like I should be selling watches. I should be buying watches. And I'm like, I don't know. I don't know. I I'm like, like that. Bored, uh, that so I'm like, ADD you're like, don't kid. do it. So right. Right. This, That's why I kind of talk you out of it. This, this, right, this, reminds, me of a, this reminds me of a, this reminds me of a 1997, uh, uh, bright link, basically like one of the, you know, it's just, everything is too big. Everything's too mashed together. I don't like the with the Arabic numbers, like style numbers with the with the chronograph. I don't know. It, it just doesn't. I agree. Work. Okay, I I want to see this watch in person, in person because yeah. I think that it could be spectacular. So I, love, that day I love pretty green. hard, huh? I, it's because it's green. That's why I know him. I, like a I, I like the green. And I think this, I think we're green, not getting just as good. Go for the go for the right watch and just get the Hulk if you like. I'm mean, not wearing green too. It's damage. the quintessential green watch. But I think that this. Uh, sell, I think sell this the Oscar the Grouch instead of buying this. Nice. You think? Yeah, I mean, look, it could be. I just, I don't know. To me, it looks. Uh, it looks like like they took a step back. It went from a college, you know, a college course in high school to a remedial reading <laughs> class in high school. I, I don't know. I just. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> uh, Hot Watcher with $2 Super Chat says, hold off and get what you really want, Butcher. Yeah, man. I agree. Less is more. You know what? Condense. Get the few that you really want instead of a bunch. I do this all the time. Zenith Hulk. The Zulk. <laughs> Dugo comes up with great stuff. That is great. Zulk. It even sounds annoying and shitty. This is the... Uh, this is the first watch, Jeremy, that a member recommended you buy with your monthly budget. So, congratulations. Yeah. This is it. The internet never uh, strays you, puts you in the wrong direction, for sure. I think we've got the wrong AI system working here. That is disgusting. That's hideous. I think we just pulled up the... I don't know if this was from before, Pavel, or I think we just pulled that up. Breitling came out with some new watches today as well. I put one of them in the uh, in the. Oh, this is oh, you have it up already. Never mind then. <laughs> I'm reading the chat as I'm saying it, but uh, Ali is one step ahead of me here. So hold on, we got Golden Baba. <laughs> he says, "Butcher, have you ever heard of Kesslowitz?" <laughs> I've not. I don't. Hey, heard oh, he's he's the ultimate tire kicker, which is good oh. though because he has great watches. Like he's very thorough before he buy it buy, uh, buys a watch. Yeah. So. We uh, well, be more like Kesslowitz. The guys who who haven't yet, I just because I don't want to miss an opportunity. You'll get either no special prizes or three. We are five subs away on Anthony's channel. And what is this so, bringing to a hundred? You said he get him to fifty five. He wanted to break fifty. I'm gonna get him to fifty five. There we go. If you guys want gifts. If you got how are you doing this? The winner of tonight's uh yeah. super chat. If we get to fifty five. 
we're going to have the winner is going to get their choice between two things. One of the things, I'll give you a sneak preview, comes in a nice Bosphorus bag. Hold on. Let me make you full screen for this because we need to tease them with uh, joyous gifts here. So the first winner, right, if we get to that, has their choice between two things. One of the two things comes in a nice Bosphorus bag. The other thing, go to Mo, I want you to pay close attention, comes in a nice ST DuPont box. Ooh. Ooh. There you go. We got two two possibilities here. So and how do you, how how are you going to pick who wins? Like we it's going to be the race, the race, and like then the first, first person second? to choose. If they're not around to choose, then I'm going to choose for them. Okay. Then you could the race actually lets you click again to run the race with that person removed. We just run it again. Okay. And we're going to run it a third time. The third time is my favorite though. Mookie, this one's for you. We're going to give away an action figure of TW. Holy shit. It yes. looks like DW. That's the one from the movie. What is, who, who is this guy? What's his name? Carl. TW from Carl. Up. Um, oh, from up. Yeah, that's right. That's the movie. Awesome. All right. So the just to be clear, we're gonna run it three times, but the first winner is the official winner of the day. Yeah. Yep. So the, you don't have three going in months. the record book. Right. Right. Okay. Got to keep this all written. I got to keep track of all this. Jeez, Louise. And and oh. thank and thank you to Toyota Mo for pointing out how 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 lovely my watches are. I appreciate that. <laughs> and we got a five dollars super chat from our man Toyota Po Toyota Po <laughs> Edgar Allan Mo. He says uh, S T Dupont for the win. And we have Neo. I don't know if Neo just used his member chat. I'm not sure. So if you want to write something, Neo. He says member for 11 months, but he didn't write anything. Uh, just write it in the chat, Neo. I'll pull it up. And we got $5 from Anthony P. He says, I will add the cigar prize. Thanks again, guys. Look at this. We got a cigar prize, too. Man, Love oh, man. So whoever gets the DuPont gets the cigar prize. How about that? Would that make sense? Because uh, Yeah, that makes perfect sense. Right. All right. We'll do that. How do I enter show a picture of my Mookie on camera? <laughs> You got to keep your Mookie in your pants, man. That's right. That's a filter we don't want to see. <laughs> and we got a $2 super chat from Neo. He says, is it just me or does Ali look hot tonight? Yeah, he does. He's got the slicked hair. He's ready to go. It looks like he lost a little weight. Looks like his wrists are getting bigger. Must be doing Long some curls. But the hair is definitely in the beard. It's a mess. Oh, man. I don't know. I think the coconut oil is working for you there. I mean, Ari, I don't want to say anything, but Ari looks really good tonight, too. That's why his camera's off. He doesn't want to, uh, you know, he doesn't want to start any trouble in his happy marriage. So He's he's streaming to his OnlyFans at the same time as he's on with us. That's, <laughs> that's true. Love and lentils. Can we get, I got to I gotta get my stream deck working again because I want, I want to get the, the sound. You know the sound when you tip? That's yes. not OnlyFans, though, right? What is that? Like the camera. I wouldn't know. I wouldn't know about OnlyFans. Oh, come uh, on, everybody knows. You know what I'm talking about. The ding, 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 ding. You know that noise it makes when you when you tip them. Oh, I man. actually have no idea what you're talking about. Sorry, JJ. I'm, uh, I'm going to get back to my Bible reading now. Well, I, I want to get that sound effect. I'm sure somebody knows what I'm talking about. That little sound it makes uh, when you give them money. Ding, ding, ding. Um, GMT is going to pop on any second. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, he'll, yeah. he'll confirm it for you. GMT will confirm it, right? He's oh, like, let me play that sound for you, JJ. <laughs> <laughs> another, another new member. Welcome to the crew, Trooper. Thanks for joining. Oh, Greatly appreciate it. All right, so this I actually like this yellow one, but this is these are too big for me. Can we? Uh, let's see here. I'm gonna actually. What, what what do you have up there? What side is this? Can you tell me? This is watch time. All right. Oh. I'm just gonna pull it up. On whatever. Pull it up. I know some of the <laughs> some of the certain ones you don't like to use. I shall remain nameless. This is easier for me to find. I don't use watch time. What is it called? Watch time? That's a new one for me. I don't even Yeah, I just try to diversify what we pull up from. This is watch time in this case. Diversify your stocks and bonds. What was that Woo Financial? Remember that? In the Chappelle show? I'm really dating so myself. Those are the chronos, maybe. right? They actually don't. The chronos don't look terrible. I like that. What was that yellow one? That one's 42 and a half. Yeah. Yeah, that's the only thing. The black so carbon dial one, that one's freaking cool. Yeah. I like also that there's like a 10 yeah. chronograph as well, like a tan dial. 
Not to be confused tan. with Tanzu. Just bought a tan right car, yeah. I kind of like these, probably. but why are they so big? What did, it, did they not get the memo? We're going smaller. How big are they? 42 mil. Is that too big? I mean, that's okay. Uh, that's not too big. Now, the three handers big. don't, the three handers and the revised bracelet design isn't bad. Yeah. Do you know the what this looks like? Does it really look revised, it though? It kind of reminds me of 2000. It does have that vibe, doesn't it? I like the bracelet. I like the case. I just the it's the the three six nine the how they they stack on top. You know, yeah, they make that those, I don't. Yeah. Like, it reminds me of how they used to do that in like two thousand on the crosswind and like stuff. Like that, that. That's that's totally on purpose. This, I'm sure they're trying looks, to throw back to that. Yeah, I was I gonna say that little the bezel looks just like the damn long jeans that just came out, or I mean the Hamilton that just came out with the compass. If you put the compass embassies in there instead of the numbers, it's that exact style. Mm. And I probably have the price too. Like I, I kind of like the that green because it's a different color green you don't see very often. But I think yeah, I would it, like it, it better in the pale. You know what I'm saying? I just want to pull up one thing real quick. I I'm going to switch right back to yours, but this is what I like about these. Look at this adjustment. This is nice. Mm -hmm. How much adjustment yeah. you get in there? Yeah, that's yeah, wonderful. Absolutely. That's a ton of adjustment. Why doesn't everybody just do stuff like this? I don't understand. What is so difficult? Like it's, it's expensive. I don't, really it's, be I don't expensive? know. I don't know that it's expensive. I think it's a it, it's a pain in the ass. If you think about how stupid people are, it's just another thing that people will wear down, break. Right. right. That's fair. You know what? That 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 is probably it. You're absolutely right. It just makes so much sense, though. I don't understand why. Why not just do that? I don't know. And your friend Mikey with two dollars super chat says that's a nice that's a nice milk gals. JJ, you're my favorite character on the show, man. Thank you, your friend Mikey. <laughs> so Chris says, if the world turned to crap, do you think watches will save you? Um. I'd like to think they would, but knowing against my good judgment, I would say they probably wouldn't. But in no. the meantime, while we're here on like the real earth, but that hasn't gone to crap yet, they're fun. Yes. Am I crazy, guys, for saying that I like the the pink one up top? The tan one. The, is that tan? Yeah, that's tan. Yeah, why is it looking pink? Uh... Oh, it is tan. You're right. Pardon me. Sorry, I'm on a different screen today, so it's not it's not calibrated right. No, yeah, you're there good. You go. We got GMT in the Speak house. Speak of the devil. Pink and not calibrated right. We got Mr. GMT in the house. Pink and not calibrated. Definitely not calibrated. Okay. Definitely not calibrated. Show us what that old thing never calibrated. Sounds sounds like. The what? Can you hear me? Yeah, we can hear you. Yeah, we can hear you. Hello. Just tell us oh, what sweet. that only oh, thing. Sure. We can hear you, buddy. Sounds, sounds okay. Like. The OnlyFans, what? What happened? The cash sound. Something happened? Tell, when you get paid, when you're on your OnlyFans and somebody pays you, what does that sound that sounds like? Do you know the token sound? Listen, like, you ever see the cam girls? You listen, know what I'm talking about, GMT? Because yeah. these guys are denying they ever heard this. And I know you know. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? Like well, you, you know what? You got to become okay. one of my fans, bro. That's the only way you're going to find out what the sound sounds like. <laughs> I don't know. I've, I've never discussed it in my uh, Bible study class. I just don't know. It's very confusing, JJ. Oh, are you sound you're going like to you're the wrong under, church? Under yeah. Hey, hang on. What's going on with this sound? What's going on with Ari's sound today? I don't know. For an audio file, the sound is. He's in an undisclosed uh, location. <laughs> Sorry, you know what? I'll stay on mute. I'll stay on mute. No, no, you no, don't stay on mute. You're just... just fine, dude. Yeah, yeah, I just want to. You're not know, causing any background noise or anything. It's yeah, fine. you just sound no, like we're busting. It's, a, it's a, yeah. Only when you speak, it's to sound like shit. Yeah, you're. I don't want to say. I'm going to tell you. You're only annoying <laughs> when you speak, Ari. Don't worry. It's fine. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. It's totally fine. I'm just busting your chops. So we got Burbing Hub with the two dollars super chat. He says two hundred dollars Chinese watches have fly on the fly adjustments. I know. That's what I'm saying. It's like, why can't you? To me, that just says like we don't really give a fuck. Why can't we? Why not? Thank yeah. you, Bert. Appreciate that. By the way, the link is posted if anyone wants to join. Uh, I will drop it again in the chat if you can't find it because I know sometimes I have trouble finding it. 
uh, also had listen, trouble finding the Listen, link. I thought I was the only one that had trouble finding it, but <laughs> you know what? Coming. Obviously not. <laughs> as soon as I said it, uh, I knew that was coming. That's what she said. <laughs> uh, we got Bubba Hotep in the house. He says, hello, watch people. Come on, Chris, you are depressing me. We're not collecting seeds here. This is not JJ's seed hangout. I don't even know how to plant seeds. Even if I had them, I'd be screwed. I'm just going to rob people say, till yeah. I drop. You That's drop some seeds in the mine. <laughs> Never mind. I can't do it. I can't do yeah. it. I'm like, uh, I'm like, do I need to, need to show you how to plant the seeds, sir? Wait a minute. It's the who's planting seeds and who? Oh, yep. my goodness. What? Toyota Mo is coming to your rescue, Ari. $2 Super Jetty says his mic sounds just fine. Thank you very much. There you go. No worries. You know what, Toyota? At least you're, you know, you're kind. You don't want to, you know, bring him down too hard. I'll be fucking honest. It sounds like shit. Thank you. Thank you, everyone. <laughs> I, I know you all have my back. Thank you very much. Mo is, Mo is, is uplifting Ari and talking about how ugly my watches are. So. We have that that yin and yang going on. Here. Hang on, wait a minute. Who's saying your watches are ugly? Tomato um, mo. Tomato mo. Oh, they, 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 he's saying your watches are ugly. Really? Well, I don't think he outright said that. I think that's. What I, I think he said I love ugly watches. I was always taught when I to grow when I was growing up by my mother. If you got nothing nice to say, don't say anything at all. Well, so, hey, you know, uh, here's how I feel about it. I, mo and I style is completely different. And I, you know, what I'm saying I'm I'm not offended by it at all. You know, we're just having fun in the chat. Fucking, and... I would be. That's Toyota Mo, bro. If he's bagging your uh, fucking collection, you got a problem. What do you mean Toyota Mo made fun of half your collection? You still have it? What are you talking about? I like. Ah, oh, yes, yeah, true. <laughs> <laughs> so, did you guys oh, see? Did you guys see that? Um. What is going on? Watchbox, I guess, through Govberg is going into the CPO program. Have you seen this? So they bought um, a couple of jewelers, right? Mm -hmm. They're completely across the spectrum. And one of their jewelers already has CPO program access. Now, that actually wasn't the most interesting thing to me. What was the most interesting thing to me is that they are allegedly undercutting Booker prices by a lot. They could do that. It's being CPO. You could still set your own price. You can still set your own prices. That's pretty cool. Yeah. I didn't know that. I thought it was kind of like, hey, actually, no, that makes sense because you're running your own separate entity. Um, now, they're only doing it, I heard, through GovBerg. That yeah. like, when you click the CPO stuff, it goes straight to GovBerg because now GovBerg is only going to sell CPO Rolex. So I guess Watchbox will be selling everything that's non CPO. Well, so GovBerg was always, they, they never, GovBerg never conflated with Watchbox. There was always right. that, that barrier. Now they're just even breaking the granularity between the brands down even more. Right. But I'm just saying that's the way it's going to work, right? If you want CPO, you got to go to GovBerg. If you want regular Rolex that are not CPO, you go to Watchbox. But this is this is a big, you know, seventeen points of sale, five collectors lounges worldwide. This is this is a big deal. This is a lot. Yeah. By the way, we have about a hundred people watching. If we could get those upvotes up, we're at forty nine. Let's at least break fifty. Hopefully, sixty. That would be great. Um, and after this, we had a hundred people here to add in my backyard, but butcher's fucking collection. Holy shit! All right, you're really gonna keep starting that fight, huh? Don't you have a right turn to make TNT? <laughs> oh, look, he's making a left. Hold on. Hold on. Look at this. I just did a left, left one. Yeah, I, saw <laughs> I, just that. I, left. Saw I just did a left. <laughs> look, look, he's going left again. The simulation is in reverse. No, now I'm going right. Now I'm going right. Now I'm going right. <laughs> All right, boys. I gave enough shit. I'm off. Take care. Stay sexy. And we'll talk again soon. Ciao, right, boys. Stay sexy. Later, buddy. Stay sexy. So what we're saying now? Let's let's go back to this. What, what, what uh, my attention only lasts for so long. Yeah. So no, I was just saying Looking that the, uh, I'm giving the example they gave here, right, of this Batman that they're uh, you know, undercutting Booker by quite a bit. Hmm. Now, is yeah. it still competitive though? The pricing is compared to. I, I'm not going to say no, like private like groups. Two like grand more, more than what you could buy on the regular market. Yeah, it, it is more, and they're they actually do the they use sub dial right, and they're saying the average price is. However, 
you know, there is the Rolex warranty box papers, right? Now, here's the thing. This is a good point, right? Customers may pay a little bit more for that stuff if for 1916 from Gubberg, but 10000 more for Booker? No, nah, man. Yeah, well, that's 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 a, a big advantage for them. Yeah, yeah I think I, it's good to see. It's good to see that, that the CPO program is going to have this level of, of potential competitive. There's actually, it's, a, it, it's actual competition, sort of. Yeah. Well, yeah, I mean, if you could get within reason of what it would cost, like if you're going to pay a thousand or two more, maybe you think it's worth that. I have my reasons right. why it's a case by case basis. Um, it's not that cut and dry for me, but um, yeah, so still, still interesting to see. Yeah. Now, as far as the CPO, my other question is can anyone apply and only sell CPO products, or is there like, um, or, or are you like chosen basically? Like they come to you and say, hey, we want. I don't know if you're interested in doing the CPO program. Um, honestly, I don't remember what the criteria was uh, to be invited into the CPO program. There was criteria at one point. So Michael is saying all attempts I to think click on is... Rolex at um, Watchbox send you to Govberg's CPO page. Yeah, that's so... part of the the deal is apparently the company that is part of the CPO can't also sell. Oh, so like Watchbox is no longer selling CPO. Rolex at all. That's interesting. Yeah. That is very interesting. I don't know if that's a good idea, to be honest. Right. I, th I get what you're saying, Mr. Z. I was kind of there too, but I thought they did that on purpose so they could corner both markets, right? Govberg does the CPO, Watchbox does you know, just sells whatever they want. But apparently that's not happening. Well, I mean, it's kind of interesting that if you think about what like Roman has said on air, that Rolex is kind of the bread and butter, but at the same time has the smallest margins, it's by far the most competitive, right? Mm -hmm. So Watchbox wants to concentrate on the other brands. They also have, obviously they own the, the platoon, right? They want to concentrate on their other brands, better margins, and then tackle the CPO program at a more competitive price than the, than the other CPO competition can. I don't know that that's a bad strategy. They're increasing yeah. their margins all the way around. Yeah, I, I, and I get what Mr. Z is saying here too, like you're either in or you're out, but aren't they considered two separate entities? I thought that was going to be their workaround to have the best of both worlds, but apparently not. Um, yeah, the thing that, you know, it's like, I, I wouldn't want to not be able to buy people's Rolex from them and resell them. Cause like you said, it's the slimmest margins, but it's like being in a supermarket, right? It's like, like uh, milk or something. It's like, you, you don't make a huge margin on it, but it gets people in the door, you know? Yeah. Um, but here, gets, here's my take on it is, uh, you know, watch box. They, they buy a ton of stuff. They're still going to buy all the Rolexes and use their buyers and, and continue all that. They're just going to, move the product inventory over to this other site. I mean, yeah, but that's not they're CPO. not really changing how they do it. Yeah, but that's not CPO. CPO means it's certified from Rolex. Having them already doesn't mean you could just move them over to the other site. You, you actually can't do that at all. They have to come from Rolex certified. I thought that you, I thought they could do that with any of their pieces. They could get them certified. Well, they might be if able to get them, but there's going to be a fee for that. I mean, Rolex is not just going to... Right, I mean, I'm so I, really know, might be Rolex. I think, though, Jeremy, that, that they don't want to do that, right? I think um, they're trying to step away from that entirely to try to manage that level of inventory because right now, that's the only people, you know, people are trying to sell things. That's the only thing they come close to break, breaking even on. And uh, an inventory that's that's, you know, lingering on the shelves is just growing for all of them. So right. I don't know. I think this is an interesting way to blend their rate, increase their margins across the board, blend their risk. Um, and then also, I mean, they've got uh, uh, more jewelry brands in the mix now too, which obviously pads their margins overall of the company as 1916, the new, the new entity. Interesting stuff, man. It's going to be weird how this plays out. I feel like there's going to be some shenanigans, right? Like people uh, are going to yeah. be playing both sides of the of, of this market somehow. Well, and who's to say that they won't uh, take their uh, 
their back catalog Rolex stuff and, and just sell it wholesale. Yeah, that's a good question. I don't know. It's I, I don't know. Like, I don't know if wholesale is like a good business model for them, but I don't know. I mean, they, they must be able to, they must have some window of opportunity to liquidate anything that doesn't apply. Like, I don't think Rolex, you know, because they've been, they, Bellberg has been part of the program since the beginning. So, or do you think they made a deal like, hey, um, we'll join the CPO exclusively, but you uh, give us a deal on certifying our current inventory? Maybe. You know, Possibly. for a price. I don't think for free, but for a price, you know. Because what would they do with all their inventory, right? And they're not going to just sit in limbo selling off all their inventory while not getting any new stuff. So I would imagine some type of uh, some type of deal was struck. Yeah. This whole thing is just weird. I can't, you know, I, I can't wait to see if it at all happens um, that the market continues to go down to under retail on most watches. Yeah, and Rolex, and then just nobody gives a fuck about any of this. Is it really not going to make a difference? Um, well, well, and like so, my local AD that I'm that I'm pretty tight with, he's like, "Oh yeah, we we filled out all the paperwork. We're set up for certified pre-owned." I'm like, "Okay, great." I go, he go okay, "Where's your inventory?" He's like, "I don't have any." <laughs> he's like, "But Rolex wanted us to do it, so we did it. But we don't have access to any inventory." So I'm like. So what's the point of doing it then at that point? So, I mean, I, I don't know where that inventory is coming from, except for, you know, like Watchbox and some of the other big ones are buying, you, they buy a ton of that stuff, you know. I don't yeah. know. Hmm. Seems seems odd that they would let that portion, even if it is small margins, they do a ton of business. No, I mean, I think, you know, some Neil agrees with you, but I do think that the the rules they have to comply by are pretty, um, are pretty stringent, but either way, I do I like the way like... they frame this, right? That all the people who currently, you know, buy and sell watches, they're now like trading floor advisors on new and pre owned watches, period, like across the board. <laughs> it's going to be fun to see. I don't know. I still, I still don't mind. Uh, I still don't mind buying my watches. The, the, original way that we've always done it i don't know cpo doesn't really seem to do it for me that much it's like i don't know you know i don't feel like they're giving you anything great just my opinion though yeah i don't, I, I just don't see what's worth more money getting less of a warranty or getting a different card like i don't know maybe if you're buying an older watch like a neo vintage piece it would make more sense, but to buy a watch that's still under warranty with the original card, I'd rather have that. As long as you're buying from yeah. someone that you trust. Yeah, I don't. I mean, I honestly don't know what the attraction is at the moment, but I'm not in the market for, or you know, a Rolex. Generally speaking, um, I don't know. It, it is watch box. Watchbox isn't stupid. So they, you know, they're talking about merging the studio presence and everything. This brand of Watchbox also has a lot of investors. So it's going to be interesting to see what they do. And they're worth watching because I think they're an early indicator for where the market's going. I think that the Watchbox, this act, this action by Watchbox and 1916 company, sorry, by 1916, is a better early indicator of where the market may be going in the next few years than Rolex by Uber. Oh, did you hear about Rolex trolling Omega? Nico talked about that. That was freaking hilarious. Wait, say it one more time. I'm sorry. Did you hear about Rolex trolling Omega? Nico talked about it. It was just no, no, I, I didn't. It was like they so Rolex bought the building that like the original Omega flagship headquarter store is in. So Omega has to lease their space back from Rolex. Oh, that's got to be so annoying, especially that, after the I just the rest of <laughs> They must be like these. <laughs> That's trolling on a whole other level, right there. Yeah. <laughs> well, they are some of their biggest competition, right? I mean, it makes sense. Yeah. And I'm I'm curious to see like if other um, ads start selling CPO stuff and start selling regular stuff. I don't think they'll do that. I don't th think they'll risk their license. Um, so we shall see. So Swinging Kangaroo, $2 says, what? Ali is buying a Rolex? No way. 
I don't think he's had Rolex before. Just because he's not he's not a hype guy, but I don't think you you don't hate Rolex, do you? Um the nineteen oh eight I do. No, I mean just like the company in general, like their watches. Um no, not I'm mean, no just, I, I they just don't do it for you. I hate the company like I hate watch food. I just think they should they don't they just shit all over their customers. Right. But I think I've said it over and over again. Day date is the pinnacle like of just all luxury watches, period. It just doesn't come in a size that's great for me. The sub, um, no date in particular, is is the pinnacle of sports watches. Uh, so it's like there, yeah, there's there's a ton about that brand that is I absolutely admire. I just want to pull up this Travis B's comment. He says, Hey JJ, I don't have a relationship with my local AD. How long would I be on the wait list for for a sub? Or do you see subs being in the showcase anytime soon? I do not see them being in the showcase anytime soon. I think if you go put your name in a random list, you may get called. I would just go to as many as you could find locally. And maybe within six months to nine months to a year, they might call you. They might never call you, depending on how busy your AD is. But I can tell you, if there's 500 people on the list ahead of you, for every three, every person they're looking to sell one they make you know they sell two subs for every three phone calls they make at the moment so yeah i'm gonna i'm gonna amend amend one of the things jj said you go register multiple at that's fine but double check on the websites for like watches of switzerland because watch of switzerland sells under a bunch of different jewelry brands so there's a distinct possibility that you wind up registering at two different lost brands which will get you knocked down the list yeah yeah, definitely do your do your homework on what you're doing. But if you can go to like some pr- a private place, like a Watches of Switzerland or uh, London, you know, get get your name on the list. But I know people are thinking it's going to be much easier than it is. Uh, as far as when they're going to be in showcases, they might never be in showcases, even if they're available. And I think their strategy is even when they do become, even if it gets to a point where they do become readily available, they still won't be in the showcase. Um, a good indicator of that is, um, I mean you see the economy completely take a shit. Um, a, a better indicator, which will get you closer to the mark, is let me know when you actually see a steel date just in the case, uh, you know, before uh, before you'll, you'll ever see a steel sports. Oh, but uh, honestly, Travis, I would do that. But if you don't, I mean, the sub is a watch that you could get for like a, a, like a thousand or two over retail right now. It's like pointless to even wait that long. Just my opinion, but. It's a watch I would never ask my AD for because I wouldn't even, even if I could get watches, because I just don't want to waste an allocation on a sub. I'd rather spend the extra thousand and go buy it. Um, I would wait for like a GMT or, a, you know, something like that, where it's like double retail. It makes more sense to me. But yeah, I would, I would say you're going to be on that list quite a long time. And we got a $10 super chat with AD never calling. He says, super freaking chat man super chat we need curly super chat hey jj ali and the butcher hello patricky how are you my friend um <laughs> i was really trying to convince archie to buy that pepsi today patrick hard i even made little i do the little um pictures for him because that always gets him like pumped up but uh i don't know man i told him if he don't buy that pepsi i might have to buy it so we'll see we'll see we'll see we got to get your buddy on by the way i was talking to Pat, uh, patrick we might get um his uh his dealer on um maybe we'll get him on during the week in a daytime show and uh, show some inventory i think that'll be fun people like that let him get a little promo and we get a little eye candy uh we have a guy who's a really nice guy i don't want to say his name on air because i don't know if he wants it on there yet but uh he was he was a really cool guy so we're gonna look we're gonna try to maybe do a little collab in the future should be fun but uh yeah he gets cool. a lot of watches cool. i'm looking to i want to get um I'm waiting to see if I get a call from a, or a GMT for my birthday, but I definitely get a GMT before this year is up. Yeah, you have to go to more than one store because you don't know how many people are on that list, or maybe they take a liking to you and they let you skip the line. It, it really depends. It's hard to say, right? You could go in a place and they like you and they're just like, hey, you know, let's hook this guy up. Maybe he's going to buy his wife earrings and become a Jeremy's, customer. Here or... Jeremy's got soft hands. They really, they really like him over at his AD. <laughs> They did. Did you walk? walk but you know what? I went on like one of the slowest it. days of the year, and I just happened to talk to the owner, and he could tell that I was really into watches, and he was, you know, what I'm saying it was a very, uh, 
let's just say I was, I'd ha- I had a great relationship there and the other two places in town, I was like a uh, cattle, you know what I'm saying? Like the, the, the one lady kind of cackled at me. She's like, <laughs> I'm like, so okay. Pat- Patrick says, hey, JJ, I don't have a relationship with my Rolex AD, crappy luxury, curly narc, Dr. Port, or Oshin O Money. Am I doomed? Um, yes. Nope, I think you are safe, man. I think you are in a safe space, free of dangers. <laughs> he says, Richie is going to sponsor Archie's main show, too. Oh, that'd be awesome. All right. Yeah, Richie's a cool guy. He came to the uh, dinner when we were in Watch Time New York. Really cool guy. Um, I don't know if Archie's going to bite for that Pepsi, but... uh. If he doesn't, I think I might. I think I wasn't saying that to bust his balls. I'm, I'm really serious. I, I think I might if he doesn't do it. So we shall see. We shall see. <laughs> there you go. Don't you just love the we? I don't, I don't know. I, I must be missing uh, half this conversation here. Thank you, Alejandro. Reminding everyone, upvote. We got 55 upvotes. How are we doing on? Oh, never mind. I'll check when Ali comes back. Uh oh, there's a little beef in the chat. We got beef in the chat. You're a traitor, Neo. He says, "Oh my goodness, what is going on here?" And a Neo and Patrick having. Oh, here we go. No, nope, they still love each other. All right, you're good. I haven't kept up on all the. Yeah. There's so much drama going on. I was uh, I was back and forth the last couple of days. So, you know, you miss like a week of content. You're uh, you're in trouble in this area because you have no idea what's happening. Oh, here we go. Yeah, it's crazy. Crazy, crazy. So Ducky says, don't you just love that we don't have to sell anything as soon as you walk through the doors of the Rolex AD? I stopped walking in after a while. Yeah, I don't blame you. Like, one of the places I go, I still have a good relationship, and uh, one of the places, not so much anymore. Um, So, you know, it is what it is. But eventually, yeah, you do stop walking through. It's like, you know, I'm not going to play the game forever. But my thing is, like, dude, you 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 got to buy stuff there. Don't just keep going there and stroking them. And like, they're just going to think you're a dickhead after a while. They're just going to be like, oh, here you go, this guy again. You know what I mean? If you're a serious customer and then you ask for something, you know, yeah. let it be known. Be like, you know, I want this. If I'm not going to get it, then I'm going to stop buying stuff. It's plain and simple. It is business yeah. at the end of the day. Business is business. And we got Hideki in the house with a $5 super chat. He says, give me a fast horse. Yes, sir. Your wish Heck is my yeah. command. Thank you, Hideki. Greatly appreciated. I was going to ask Ali something. Now I totally forgot what the hell I was going to ask him. Damn. You're talking about drama. Hmm? What did I say? What was I asking? You, you, was about what? You were talking about drama, and then you were no, going to ask him I was going to ask him something right before that. I don't know. Okay. It's gone now. It's gone. It's lost forever. It's not coming ding, ding, back. Ding, ding, ding. Damn, I hate when that happens. I don't know. It was right right before he uh, shut his camera. We are we are stuck on fifty one subs for Anthony's channel. So. Oh, that's what I was going to ask you. How are we doing oh. with the subs? That's exactly. Oh. It's like he reads my mind. We we're stuck on fifty one subs. He's got uh, a key, he's got an episode kind of live coming up tomorrow on Cuban Farm Rolls. He just did a great one on uh, Padrones, right and. He's got a, a an interesting crew over there, but we're on fifty one subs. We got to get to fifty five. Let's Otherwise, drop his link. It's just a you, regular old race tonight. If you guys want prizes, we need four more uh, subscriptions to Anthony's channel. We'll drop the link in the chat. Anthony P's cigar channel. Four more uh, subscribers, and we'll give. We'll have a uh, what two three giveaways today. Anthony's going to give yeah. away cigars with Ali's uh, Dupont giveaway, and then there's a what was the other one? The we have the CW, yeah. We have oh the single, CW doll, yeah, yeah. Yeah, we have a Bosphorus and the Bosphorus, close Bosphorus gift and mm-hmm. uh, an SC Dupont gift. Okay. This is also is teasing us over here. He says Lamans are bust. I think we're gonna bust. I don't think we're getting Lamans anytime <laughs> yeah, soon. But you're not wrong, man. That's a that's a, a gorgeous watch, but uh, I don't think it's happening, Mister Z. By the way, Mister Z, I'm ready for lunch. We gotta go. We gotta do. Uh, we gotta do lunch. I got two lunches. I gotta get to. I got Mister Zoso lunch. I gotta get to, and Hot Watcher lunch. I gotta get to. Both in New Jersey, so I better get my ass moving. All right, so we got a two dollar super chat from Big George NY. He says my trifecta one two five. <laughs> there you go. We got Swinging Kangaroo with a five dollar super chat. He says 
for seriousness with AD, if they have jewelry and you need something, you notice he wrote need in capital letters, it is a good idea to buy them yep. from your AD if possible. It helps a lot. Yeah, I agree. Uh, I, I did that uh, again this year, with, and uh, that is why I'm currently waiting for something. Thank you, Big George. $5 super chat. Greatly appreciated. Alejandro has subbed to Anthony P. Mr. Zoso subbed. Golden Baba has subbed. Excellent, excellent, excellent. And we got a $2 super chat from our man Neo. He says, JJ promised EDC show and Ali to show me the singer. Damn it. I know. I got to do that. And Paul wants to do it too. Maybe we'll get... Um, I don't know when we're going to do this. I, I got I to gotta figure it out, Neo. I know I say this all the time, but we will definitely do an EDC show. I want to get, I think I want to get an EDC guest. Do you guys think we should do that? Should I step in? Yeah, get like, an EDC I, guest. Oh, I could get like a like a real, I, well, I don't know if you I can get, get whoever one. you want, man. You're a legend. I mean, I got some guys that have like, that are not like YouTube famous at all, but that have like ridiculous, like, ED, like, like ridiculous EDC guys, some of the best knife collections I've ever seen. Um, I, I also am in touch with a couple of, you know, big content creators on YouTube that are EDC guys, like more plain stuff, you know, like Leatherman and Flashlight, stuff like that. So, you know, let me know which way you guys want to lean. And I, I could definitely get that. I could definitely get that sorted. This is also says he's getting the Le Mans. I mean, hey, God bless. More power to you. They're going for like 200 grand. So if you get nice. a massive score. That's awesome. I think, That's I think freaking like brilliant. 50. Robert is rubbing it in that he's already subbed. Thank you, Robert. Wait, but did Robert Wood enter the race tonight? He did. Oh, shit. Yeah, that's true. Well, yeah, you can't win any prizes if you didn't enter the race tonight. So that's up to you. Uh, Golden Baba bringing up a good point to swing kangaroo that the problem is the jewelry is a ripoff. Yeah, that is true. It's almost like you might as well just buy it on the gray market at that point. But um, yeah, I hear what you're saying. Look at our friend Anthony P being so nice, thanking everyone. Let's give him a little love. Neo with the two dollars super chat says, "Get Nick Shabazz." I actually never spoke to Nick Shabazz. Um, he's cool. I watch a lot of his videos. I watch a lot of stuff like how he takes stuff apart. I have two. I don't. Have, I do have them here. I don't want to mess up my whole thing though. I have two skeletals. I have two skeletals right here that I took apart. I cannot get the freaking things back together again. Look at this. You want to see a disaster? Look at this. Does anyone know how to fix skeletals? I have two of them with blades hanging off right here. It's a total mess. I do not. I'm but trying to find like a get. place that repairs Leathermans and you could just put the blades back in for me. What do we got? Arc? Is that an arc? Mm hmm I knew it. I didn't like get the, the uh, custom one because I'm not as cool as you, but it did show up. You know they messed mine up? I got the, the topographic... Uh, there we go. Let me get your full screen. I got mine the other day. I didn't show it on camera though. Mine has like the topo writing on there. Yeah. And they they went pet. It looks like on the bottom. You see where the blade is, where the Magna Cup blade is. Yeah. Oops. Um, that part looks like it's like an eighth of an inch higher than it should have been, and oh. I have little dots on the blade. It looks like it lasered off some of the DLC coating on the blade. So people were saying to send oh. it back. To them. What do you think? Do you like it? Unsure. I mean, I just literally, I just pulled it off for the first time, so I haven't given it a spin yet. The first thing I would do is get a coat hanger that you don't need anymore, a metal one, it's, and cut it with those things because it's a huge problem going around. The, I don't know if it's a bigger deal than people are making it, but everyone's uh, wire cutters are breaking, just coat, cutting a coat hanger that they had a defective batch I of will, cutters. I will give it a go. Yeah, because if, it, if it's better to break sooner than later because you could send it back. Yeah, absolutely. Stay, no, no, absolutely. Yeah, don't, don't don't wait too long. Give it a little test run. Um, but that seems to be a problem. So we have a super chat from Neo two dollars says, JJ, do you have a guy to do knife maintenance? I don't offhand, but I think was the place Razor's Edge is pretty good. I don't know if Ali uses anyone in particular or does his own maintenance. Oh no, it's, no I do the uh uh there's a guy at the flea market close to me that I've been using for twenty years now. Oh, there you go. Yeah, I would actually like a uh I don't know if there's anyone near me that does knife maintenance. There's actually a, a knife maker that is like very local to me, but I don't, I don't really think he messes around with maintenance stuff. Um, but if you look online, you'll find a bunch. Um, I'm pretty sure Razor's Edge is one of them. I think they're in North Carolina. 
uh, you know, obviously you you should get to ship it back and forth and whatever, but. It's pretty good if you have a couple of knives. I guess it depends on what kind of maintenance you need. Well, he wants to get sharp. Just then. need an edge put on. Yeah, that's what he wants to. Probably. I mean, what right. other really maintenance do you need? Maybe you line it up a little bit, but that's pretty easy. Oh, you've never seen a Leatherman's? Oh, yeah. I, I got a ton of Leatherman's. Maybe we'll do a Leatherman. Uh, yeah, we got to do an ETC show. Yeah, that's we'll the new arc. Better. And uh, I mean, literally, that's the first I just pulled out of the box, so I haven't given it a spin yet. But JJ and I ordered it on on Go Live Day, except JJ's cool and he ordered a custom one. I just ordered a run of the mill one because I shine JJ size nine boots. Well, the reason I did it is because, um, well, first of all, I thought it was cool, but there was fifty percent off uh, customizing. So a little sale they were running, so I figured why not? I think it was a two twenty nine. I think I paid two sixty nine. Yeah, I don't trust myself to sharpen the super steel too. M three ninety is a little bit of a bitch to sharpen too. It's not the easiest, so yeah, I would I would look up. I think type in like Razor's Edge Sharpening Service, North Carolina, something like that. You don't have to type in North Carolina, but see if it's there. I heard they're really good. Like I don't know how far backed up they are, but uh, yeah, if you want like a real good edge, like a, a you know straight um, big brown bear, I mean, is the best. But I don't even think I think mean, the guy's making that, like you know steels with <laughs> steel uh, blades with the uh, spider cone now, so. I don't think he's sharpening knives anymore, but Big Brown Bear was uh, really good. Basil's Bezel with $2 says hit the like button and sub to the live cigar lounge. There you go. Getting Anthony P on the map there. And we got a $5 super sticker from our man Bubba Hotep with a Karate Fox. Thank you. Bubba. Fox. Yeah, I agree. H, everyone should have a lot of I have like, I don't know, 12 at least, <laughs> probably more. I have some, I have like the original one. I have an old wave that I looked online the other day, not an old wave, a charge TTI. I have the first edition. Yeah. When it first came out, you know how much they're going for? It's insane. It's for like $600. No. <laughs> for the original one, if you have an original charge, yeah. Like with the one that doesn't have the original uh, charge. Huh? My daughter has an original charge. If it's in good shape, like mine is mint because I never really used it. Um, I, I Hers really might be in the box, dude. You'll get a probably six six seven hundred for it. She'll be watching this tomorrow or day after. Sell it, buy a watch. No, save it and put it in. No, the bank. don't buy a watch. <laughs> Invest it in your Yield Street account, honey. Yes, I agree. I change. Oh, we got one day retro in the house. Welcome. It says hello, everyone. Let's see what I'm All right, I think we are caught up. Is there a, I, I will give you a model to recommend for you, Toyota Mo, because you are my friend. Keep it simple. Just get yourself a Skeletool. So it's got the basics. It's all you need. Pliers. I have four or five Skeletools. I have one in each vehicle. I have one hanging on the inside of the drawer, one hanging inside of the garage, and I have one in my lightweight EDC man bag. I have two that are taken apart because I'm a complete asshole and I can't get the blades back in uh, because I thought I'd be funny and take the skeletal cx uh 154 uh, flat blade and switch it into my denim colored skeletal and then put this damascus blade from texas Toolworks yeah. that's probably worth a fortune and you can't even buy anymore um actually i was going to sell it i was going to put it together and sell it but i'm having a problem i have everything apart these are a bitch i actually messaged a guy who puts it together i was like can i pay you to put these back together and he gave me, he's like, dude, it's such a pain in the ass. He's like, here's what you got to do. And left me like a five minute instructional audio. I was like, all right, he doesn't want the money. <laughs> it's too much of a pain in the ass. Yeah. Uh, am I talking about razor sharp? It might be. I, I don't know. I haven't used a sharpening service in ages, but check out the reviews. If it's got a ton of like awesome reviews, that's the place. Could be. I, I could have sworn it was in like North Carolina, somewhere like in the east. Could be razor shop. I thought it was what did I call it before? I don't know. I know if you have a, a microtech knife that you can send it back to them directly to the factory. No. They'll, they'll put yeah. an edge back. Oh, that that is you. true. Good point. Uh Neo, what brand knife? So a lot do you of have? the manufacturers will, will do that. Yeah, yeah. I know Benchmade does it, Chris Reeve does it. Well, Chris Reeve definitely it's not a Chris Reeve because they don't make M three ninety, but um Golden Baba with a two dollar super chat. What is the best EDC man bag? <sighs> Depends. What's what size? What size you're looking for? Um, like, do you want like a fanny pack size, or do you want like a like a 
like a like a big messenger bag or do you want like a little fold over um if i know the size you want i mean i could pick you out a bunch of good ones um i've been really liking the alpaca stuff i've been buying uh their their bags i like their uh I like that bag. I buy the bigger one because I like to carry a bunch of crap. But so the I'm gonna pull this up for a second. Oh, sorry. Um, if you are interested in like will last forever, uh, contact Kafaru and ask him for a cu custom Rogan as a sling, as a crossbody sling. Uh, they will cut it slightly differently, and they will also put two elastic straps that will allow you to go to the full capacity or smaller capacity right so it's volume at full capacity is 150 cubic inches but it will hold it smaller um if you want something that will last forever i recommend uh anything from kafara but the rogan for a a, a man bag Kifaru i carry really good because i'm super gay i have a really nice berluti man bag that i carry oh my gay because i'm super gay well i have the louis vuitton avenue sling so I can't, uh, but I don't really carry that anymore. If you, if you, if you want a more manly option here, well, no, is that your daily? Because that's a rock. No, that's I'm no, talking about like a, a man, a man back, dude. Uh, I can't carry something that small. I can carry that stuff in my pockets. I just throw this on my. I throw this. So I mean, it depends on what you're. Like it's it's it's. It's small enough that. Uh, yeah, but that's a backpack. They're looking for a, a little EDC. Yeah, yeah. You're, you're veering eh, off topic. Here. Don't, don't, don't don't change the subject here. <laughs> All right. So this is what I use bag. when I'm being fancy pants. This little sling. This is my man bag. Um, I actually wear it like this, but I am not the slim or handsome. Um, that's how I wear it. I even walk like that when I wear it. But that works for me. Um. Do you style your hair like that too? But I barely use that anymore. I'm going to show you the one I actually use. I'm just saying uh, uh, Ali is not the only uh, gay one. <laughs> that didn't sound too good, right? But So no, no, I completely messed up. What would you say? I said you're not the only gay one. Yeah, no, no. Super, super. This is what I, I've been using. Let's go here. Uh, hold on. Yeah, a lot of people can't, Pavel, and I, I, I'm right there with you. That's why I've been uh, switching it up lately. I've been really liking this lightweight, hey. waterproof style stuff. Hey, shout out to Watch Nick. Um, let's see. Is it coming up? There we go. Yeah. I like... Pull it up, JJ. Pull it up. Pull it up. Which one do I like? I got to find it. This looks Give like a... a... I have this one for the airport. One I, looks like a purse. The other one looks like a camera bag from the 80s. Thank you. Very insightful, Jeremy. Greatly appreciate it. <laughs> so, I have this modular thing when I want something small. There's like a body size. If it's like a phone and, you know, basic stuff. But I don't think that's what you're asking for because this is like really minimal. I carry that like. Yeah, um, that's very similar to that's very similar to like my theme park setup. But if I want to be led into slightly nicer places. I do the the total gay option, the Berluti option. Right, right, yeah. I mean, I do the same. I'm trying to find. And this is a beautiful bag, man. Oh, wait, you're showing it. Hold on, let me uh, put you full screen here while I search. There you go. That's, it's beautiful. What is this now? That's is that the a Berluti shaving bag? kit bag. Do dop kit. <laughs> no, it's not a dop kit. Ghostling, how do you wear that though? Does it have a strap or a belt? Or, yeah, it has a strap. You I just carry it with the handle or? strap on. I wear crossbody cross style. Cross style. It's a it's it's is it is it big stuff. enough for everything you need? I keep uh, you know, on my belt, I keep certain things, specific EDC things, and then I keep everything else yeah, I need in yeah. here and also. Uh, like family stuff, right? So there's a thin pack of wipes, and I've got a. I keep a Leatherman, another knife in here. I keep a couple of get home type things. So it is. It serves. It has enough space to be a proper get home bag if I need. Um, but it is more of like a upscale uh, weekender type of bag at, at Miami and things like that. I'm going to Miami. Yeah, this is the one I like. 
I guess I guess for my needs, I I'm fat enough that I can carry so Maybe. much stuff on my belt and in my pockets that the rest of, like like in my EDC bag, I have a pretty good size first aid kit too. So stays on my belt. Um, takes a lot of that. I, I don't do me, off body so. carry ever, Alejandro myself. This is what I I use all the yeah. time now. Alpaca. This is light, super lightweight, waterproof. Alpaca ghost sling. It's like 120 bucks. This is a special edition, the black multicam. Um, it's fucking awesome. I got the yeah, max like size, the which multicam. is a little bigger. What? What? I said I like the black multicam. That's a great oh, look. Yeah, I like it too. I got mine is just black with the orange interior, but I'm telling you, this thing is perfect amount of space. You could fit an um, iPad in there, a small one. Um, I use this daily. I mean, you could fit fucking everything in here, everything. That was and nice. It's, and it's not massively Our big. Too. And it's see, it's it's big, but it's not like massively big. Like this is when I want to carry a lot of stuff, I carry this. Yeah. And the way so, it hugs your body I is I don't like, hate perfect. it. I don't hate it. So Z Man, I actually do because I have a daughter and I'm not a prick. And when I'm out with a lady too, I carry a couple of feminine things. <laughs> Z Man. Um the Rogan is big enough for what do you a, mean? Don't you need tampons to clog bullet holes? That's well, I, I have a blog yet. Yeah. So the Rogan uh, Gold Lava is big enough to uh, comfortably do a 19 or 19X with uh, a Trigicon, any sort of optic on top of it, and a uh, threaded barrel. Um, I have not tried to put a 17 frame in, but it's comfortable enough for that. Um, and then Pavel, yes, I carry two. I carry a blowout kit on body, and I carry a uh, specifically occlusive seal type setup in the bag. He is all equipped. So we got a super chat here from Swinging Kangaroo. Yeah. He says, cool fact, Patek has a close relationship with the Thai royal family. They do make one-off pieces and pendant watch the old days and table clocks for them. I know that they display those in their museum. Yeah, that's awesome. Very cool. I'm sure, you know, a lot of their long-standing relationships that, uh, you know, they want to continue that tradition, right? Because, look, they know fads don't last forever, right? So... They stick with their old, their old, uh, old customers. You are welcome. Uh, let me see what else here we got. Think about all the classic things that are, that are, always good. You know, a really good, nice pair of leather shoes, a very nice watch that's not some crazy bad thing. You know, mm -hmm. uh, a a well tailored piece of clothing. All of those things are always in style. Whether the hmm. color is or not, but but those are those are generational things that are, I just think, uh, timeless. You know. Yeah. And a good we Patek go. watch is 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 a timeless piece. Well, they say you don't never own a Patek, right? You hand it down. You're holding it for the next generation, handing it yeah. down the heirloom. So we got a super chat from Corrado Galizia, two dollars. Ali has enough on him to take out. A small squad. I will so not comment the, the, on that. Uh, I do not condone Quicker that. actually. I do see Quicker and um, <laughs> Quicker's also an instructor. So foaming go, out the go mouth, get right? training four times a year and go get medic blowout training at least once a year, man. Yeah. Besides being really fun, it's just worth it. Golden Baba, they're cheap and they're awesome. Hundred bucks. They're waterproof, super light. I highly recommend. We got your friend Mikey with the five dollar super chat. He says, I'm just poking fun. Kafaru is quality. And first aid is essential. Yeah, no, of course. I actually have two Kafaro bags. I have, I don't know their names. I forget. I have Can we pull up the Kafaro site for a second? Yeah, or I have the that... first generation Marauder um, mm -hmm. that I don't even think they make anymore. And that is now 25 years old. And it looks um, brand new. <laughs> right? More or less, yeah. This shit lasts forever. I have, I think, a checkpoint it's called. And then I have a, I know, a green one with like 10 multicam. Uh, while well, you look, while well, you pull that up, I'm just gonna pull up this super chat here. We have LTL True Crime Podcast. What's up, Brian? With the five dollar super chat, he says, "What type of tomfoolery is going on here tonight?" We that's it. No, that's not it. Um, no, we're just uh, we're chatting watches, and we somehow got into um, man bags and manly man EDC carry. So this is like my that's it right there on the right. What's that called? Charge. That's it. The charge. Oh, the shape charge. Shape charge, yeah, that's the one. I have that, and I have the uh, checkpoint. 
So it's it's actually the charge is the antero. I think is the well the charge is the logical successor to the, the marauder. Um, mm -hmm. The antero is the 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 one that was I guess co-designed with um, uh, the Rocky Mountain Elk Club. Um, the echo is a nice. The echo is a very nice like size uh, size mm -hmm. bag. Kafaro makes really awesome stuff. Actually, you put me out to Kafaro. I wasn't. Yeah, oh, Kafaru makes it's it's just superb. My all my hunting swinging. I can't pull up any links on Instagram. I have no idea how to do that. Um, I don't know what you sent the link. I'm sorry, Ali. Uh, what were you saying? No, oh, I'm just saying, like the, all, you know, all my hunting kit, and whatnot. I've, I've had Kafaru stuff for 20, 25 years. Like since they are really, um, I actually sent it to you on Instagram. <laughs> very young. <laughs> yeah, Kafaru rocks, man. Kafaru is awesome. I like it a lot. We have P cars with five dollars super chat. Thank you, P cars. I don't know what it is. I have to scroll over here. What do we got? We have keep it up. Thank you, P cars. Greatly appreciate it. Um, swinging. I sent it to Ali. I don't know if he'll be able to get it, but I, I have no idea how to get it on there. Wait, yeah, Brian. The bags are awesome. Highly recommend. Did you send it to me on IG? Yeah. So I I was apparently reported a whole shit ton of times. I'm locked out of my own IG until Meta and I reconcile yeah, you guys aren't friends anymore yeah i'm pretty pissed about it because i'm pretty sure i know exactly what happened and who did it but whatever right. let me see if i could do this hold on copy are you kicked out of uh facebook too? i mean facebook whatsapp i don't even use facebook i don't even remember the last time i've been on facebook all right i sent it to you on there all right gotcha sorry danny says i carry two bags they're under my eyes from lack of sleep Hey man, look, you gotta carry your gear. Your friend Mikey says, I actually don't got think two backpacks bags and two guns. <laughs> I don't think backpacks are out of pocket. No, I, I don't think they are either. I, backpacks are totally cool. I mean, before we were just we were talking about like small EDC bags, so it didn't really apply. But yeah, backpacks do apply if you want some uh a larger loadout or if you're out for the day for sure. What are we looking at here? Is this oh the uh, I have a, a like a huh? <laughs> is it me or are you stopping watches here? You guys oh I don't know the context oh, I, of I uh sorry, go ahead. Go ahead, Jeremy. I was gonna say for, for ED for my regular EDC bag, I like a like a gray or non non military style color. Gives it a little, a little less. Uh, <sighs> shoot yeah, me now, look. Little I gray guess. man concept. Yeah, 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 I want to look normal. I get it. I do that too. I don't really carry yeah. anything that's too tactical looking. I like the bag I have that's tactical looking. I would take that like hunting or hiking or something like that, but not for regular use. So this is what he was saying Correct. before the Royal Family Museum. I guess the the stuff that Patek makes for them. It's pretty cool. This is the Thai royalty family here. It's a minute repeating pocket watch. Boing! Wow. Yeah, this is which cool. must have some wild acoustics things. because it, you know, completely sells out. But I can't see the hammers. What am I missing? I can't see the hammers. Oh, 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 here they are. Here they are. I can't see shit. I don't have glasses. So they're asking. All right, all I got them. it. Like, what the hell? Why couldn't I see him? It just—it looks like an owl with dog ears. Adorable. So I like how Burbing Hard's in the chat making oh. fun, saying pipe, pumpkin spice latte. Meanwhile, he has EDC gear. Don't let him fool you. He's the guy who uses beard oil. The West, who is it? Pacific Northwest. He's definitely a PWN guy, right? He's got his he's got his Nick's boots on right now. <laughs> yeah, yeah. He's definitely got a pair of Nick's boots <laughs> and a Pat Patagonia uh, flannel. Come on, That's Burb. Right. Tell the tell the truth. I'm gonna send the link if anyone wants to join. All right, hold on. Yeah, you you said you said beard oil, so now we're doing that. Oh hell no, I'm not talking about beard oh, oil. No, I'm not getting that beard today. <laughs> Do you actually use beard oil? No, I, I don't want to talk about it. Never mind. Forget I asked. Forget. <laughs> I do. Hey. Come on, man. You don't use beard oil, do you? Hey, I I put a the, I put a competitor no, to the I, Vermont I in I, the private chat. I do. I use beard oil because otherwise, my I get ashy as hell. Hmm. 
We got a two dollar super chat from Golden Baba says Poway come back. Yeah, where is Poway? He said he was gonna work on his voice for the um for the races to announce the races and then he dipped out on us. I thought he was friendway now. He's friends again. No more four way. <laughs> Uh, there we go. Brian uses beard butter. I actually have a beard balm. I forgot what it's called. Beard though. Butter. I just don't want to talk about it. I don't. I never wore Lululemon for any. I don't know all these Lululemon comments coming out. I don't know. But Marco says he likes them that they're comfortable. But hey, you know. I, I just can't take rose hip face oil for my beard. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> Jamie has a pocket watch. I've heard it called that before, but I never saw uh, Jamie has a pocket watch. I don't know. Pocket watches, I got to be honest. Uh, I may get booed in the chat, but they do nothing for me. I really just don't care. They're, they're, to me, well, I mean, this so is a really, really unique. Oh, piece. yeah. I'm not saying that this one, this is a, you know, it's got a, you know, this is like a piece of uh, history here, but I, I just in general, like, I don't know. Pocket watches just don't do anything for me. Kind of boring. Boring to me. Look, I can't like everything, right? Uh, everybody's got styles. <laughs> I don't know what he's talking about, but I feel like he's so full of shit right now. What what company has ABC technology anti ball crusher? I'm not, he's I'm he's not talking about it. his Lulu Le Mans. Oh, yeah, oh, that's Blondie's favorite Lulu Le Mans. Uh, all right. Let's get to what are you talking about, Jeremy? What do we got here? Tag Hoyer. This is the other one that I, you might want to get. I, I don't know. I've been I've been kind of sniffing around this one too. I think I like the Vermont better, but the reason but the punters might like out. this better. Don't sniff around that one. Oh, this is bad. Don't sniff around it. I was just I was just trying to get it onto my screen here. Is it terrible? All right. You don't have to oh, I actually like 30 this minutes. One. I've ignored it. I'll I'll pull it up for you, Jeremy. Well, we've been talking beard balm and ladies' bags. So, I mean, man's bag. <laughs> What's wrong with man bags? All right, so here we go. I actually like this watch. Absolutely I'm not gonna lie. I like this better than the Bruma. If you're gonna if you're gonna get one or the other, I would get this. I think this watch is actually pretty cool. Aqua Racer Professional. It's huge, forty three mil, but you got giant wrists, so that's not an issue. Um, yeah. Is it ceramic case? I don't even know what this is made of. I don't, I don't think really so. It can't be at that price. Made of regret. So you don't even know what it's made of, and you're thinking about buying it? What the fuck is wrong with this guy? I just said I liked it. I didn't say I knew much of No, it you said it. it's a consideration as a competitor to the other watch that you're the looking at. The steel DLC it, case. You don't even know what it's made of, and he's looking to spend four it's, grand on it. Jeez. For $4,000, it can't be ceramic, right? Like, there's no, no way. Well, it's got to be well, steel. Well, I don't know. DLC. Tudor. I think Tudor does it. Don't they do a black ceramic for that price? So I do like the way it lights up. I like this watch. I'm not gonna lie. Yeah. I don't like so that as this, DLC. I mean, I think that's kind of lame. But besides that, not bad. Look, I, I wouldn't buy either, but I would buy this over the Brumont. I think. What do you guys think in the chat? Wow. Let us know. Can you help us out here? I think me and Ali are. Uh, on I like the a lot of, of the Aqua Racers. Here. I do. I like a lot of the Aqua Racers. I don't like this one. This one is the Night Diver, and it's still. It, I don't know. Just this would look a little I mean, too much like what I would expect Fossil to make. <laughs> Did I ever tell you that story about the girls at the club, the Fossil? I know I've said this on the air before, but I don't know if you ever heard that. Me and my friend were out, right? We were in a nightclub in Manhattan, and we went outside. So we're talking to each other outside for a minute. There's people out there. It was like a smoking section outside. It was like early 2000s, maybe. And uh, these two girls are out there, so they start talking to us. I have my Breitling on. This was before it had the diamond bezel. This is when I first got it. Um, it was just, you know, regular Breitling Crosswind. And he had a white techno marine with <laughs> like the diamond chips all over it. You know what I'm talking about? You ever, do you remember those? The yeah, yeah. Buttons? So these two girls are talking to us and, and they're going, oh, wow, your watch is really nice. It's really nice to tell my friend. So he's like, oh, you like it? And uh, he goes, what about his watch? You know? <laughs> Showing them the one I'm wearing. We were like 20 years old at the time, maybe 22 years old. And they're like, oh, that's nice. What is that? Fossil? <laughs> I was like, you motherfucker. <laughs> but I didn't say anything. Did you sell like, it yeah. the next day? No, no. I put a diamond bezel on it the next day. Uh, it was bad. That's I remember fantastic. that. 20 something years later. You remember 20 years later. Marine was selling at retail for like $3,500. 
Yeah, yeah, I do. He had a, a, remember his like it was yesterday. It was white with diamond chips all over. Like if I saw it, I would one hundred percent know know what it is. And we got a five dollar super chat from our man Big Sal. A nice super sticker. Let's see what is the sticker. What do we got here? We got to keep it up sticker. Keep it up. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <clears throat> yeah, but that was the worst. That was the worst. What is that fossil? It was like a dagger to the heart. I felt like Steve Irwin with a stingray. It was not cool. Yeah. Good. And this is why I don't own any Breitling watches. <laughs> no, but instead, he's making fun of me now, too. Look at this. Oh, my God. Where's, where's Toyota Mo? Toyota Mo, get him. Get him. Oh, geez, Louise. So we got to do three races tonight. We just got to keep that in mind. When we're, uh... Did you see this library news? No. What is this? Yeah, they're, they're putting up like a massive archive of watchmaking and watch history media. Oh, really? That's cool. I did not see anything about this. By the way, just real quick. While you pull that up, can you guys see my media section? Yes, yes, we can. We got that nice attack yes. up there. I moved Yoda down below, uh, baby. Oh, Grogu, actually, but everyone calls it Baby Yoda. I like how I'm looking out in the distance. He's watching my back. Do you like this new setup? What do you guys think? That's actually not a bad setup. Do you think I should get rid of the yeah. Rolex catalogs that are up and down and just keep the other books? I think you should get rid of the Louis Vuitton boxes on the top shelf and put and add some variety up there. Yeah. That's just storage for me, though. But, yeah, I could. I could. All right. Let's get back to business. Sorry about that. So what do we got here? Oh, it's just this, it's this new site. The Watch Library is putting up uh, just a million bloody articles and, like, horological reference manuals and stuff like that. So I thought it was interesting like a historical archive can you drop the link for that in the chat for people who might want to look into that i feel like this is if um if young brando was a was a website yeah, it's, it's this, a young this, would be, <laughs> this would be it oh, we got curly in the house curly says butcher buy a 930 porsche and give carmen electra a ride everyone's making fun of me today because i use the carmen electra reference i really dated myself on archie's uh show so he was saying, like, you know, uh, he was talking about the prices hey, of watches. She's a, if down. she wants a ride, I'm happy to give her a ride. Right, right. That's what I'm saying. Uh, we, we were talking about how watches were um, are coming down. And Archie said, uh, you know, it's getting bad when uh, Mike the Snake wants to buy a Vacheron overseas that the market's tanking. I said, yeah, well, you could want, want to buy one. I said, I wanted, you know, I want I wanted to date Carmen Electra. That doesn't mean she wants to date me. Uh, but you know, I just dated myself big time. I heard her prices going down. <laughs> yeah, but you know what? That was the last time I had like a crush like that. It was in my early twenties, or maybe even late teens. I don't know. I probably like twenty, something like that. So let's see. What is Birmingham Hard making fun of now? This is JJ's origin story. His watch collection and taste for luxury goods stems from a feeling of inadequacy <laughs> stemming from these fossil girls. You know what? You might be onto something. I need Ron the Shrink to verify. Ron, give us your uh, professional thoughts on that, please. But yeah, I don't know. I, I don't know any current like girls that are supposed to be women that are supposed to be hot. I don't know. What the hell do I know? I don't follow that kind of stuff. Is that bad? Uh... Who's like the hot like references, right? Like when I was young, it was like Pamela Anderson or something like that. Like, I don't know who the fuck is. <laughs> I don't know who. You know what it is? Kids today are ruined because of like all this other shit, like OnlyFans and stuff. It's over for them. It's over. Red Rover. Curly was thinking Farrah Falls. <laughs> yeah, that's what uh, that's what they were saying. Archie was thinking about Farrah Falls. <laughs> oh, this is a good one. Tiktology. See now, Tiktology is a lot younger than me, and he he knows what's up. Jennifer Aniston, but Jennifer Aniston can't yeah. seem to find the guy, so there's got to be something off there. I don't know. And then that I would complain. Don't get me wrong. I think when I you have that many is. zeros behind your bank account, I don't know who this is. Angela just complicates White. things. Is this a singer? Who is this? I don't know. It's probably someone I shouldn't pull up, but I'm going to guess because I don't know who it is. I think it's 
<laughs> Mr. GMT said, "Call me." Go. This is really going <laughs> sideways here. Jesus Christ! And we got Diego. Using Just tell everybody chat. you got a crush on Lizzo and be done with it. Who? Lizard? What's Lizzo? That? Lizzo. Who's that? What is that? I think he said Lizzo. lizard. Oh, I don't know. Her. Lizzo. Yeah, I know you could say it. Then no. <laughs> I know who it is. I'm not sure what that is. <laughs> so we got a, a member chat from Diego. It says, "Evening all." In your opinion, will the CPO program affect the status quo we become accustomed to at ADs? If so, how? Good question, Diego. I say, yes, it will affect the status quo. Uh, I think this is where deals are going to come to be made, right? You move up on the list for something from the new pile if you buy something from the CPO pile, right? So you might spend a 1000 or two more than buying it on the gray somewhere else. Let's say you buy, I don't know. A submariner from them maybe that gets you on the list for a gmt from them new or moves you up quicker just my opinion but i think that's what will happen <sighs> i think what will really affect it more though is the current state of the market or you know the future state of the market i should say but i don't think we're there yet i don't know any of these people. i know i know her that's wolf of wall street she's hot Anna the yeah. Armas, Anna the Armas. I don't know who that is. I need to go. Oh, uh, I need to get Samantha Fox. <laughs> That's fucking funny. <laughs> I wonder who knows. I know Samantha Fox only from her music back. In, I mean, that was even when I was like a little kid. But I do remember Samantha Fox. Uh, oh no, for writing slip, JJ has a crush on Lizard. I don't know who Lizard is. Bubba says Lizzo is the hottest woman of all time. All right, Bubba's definitely he's a sarcastic fella, so I'm assuming Lizzo is not good looking. What what the hell? I wasn't gone that long. Why are we talking about Lizzo? I don't know. Jeremy <laughs> said I would like Lizzo. I don't know who that is. I thought he said lizard. I don't even know who that is. I know Margot Robbie. She's hot. Um, nice. Yes. Oh, the cap wants a link. He must have a hot uh, hot chick. The link is pinned, Cap, but I'll drop it again because you are A-grade talent. Hop on in. Who's Jackie Stallone? Is that Sylvester Stallone's daughter? His daughter's a good-looking, right, I think? Pretty sure they all are. I'm pretty sure they all are. Anna D. Armas was in No Time to Die. Was that the one who says Rolex Omega? Beautiful. That part? You know that part when they're on the train? Is that them? No, no. Anna DeMar or Darnus is uh, in the last one um, when he goes to Cuba or whatever. Oh. We got the cap in the house. $2 super chat. Says he's in. He's ready to rock. Lock him in. Lock and load. All right. Cap. <laughs> Lizzo could pull a plow. Okay. I'm guessing she's no good. I don't know. I don't know these people. I don't. I don't watch any of it. It's the style. Says, it's a style. You gotta have a JJ for not knowing Lizzo. <laughs> oh goodness gracious! I don't know. I don't follow new shit, man. I'm not into this. Captain Gonzo, there we go. Hello, Captain Gonzo. <coughs> Cappy. Yo, <coughs> what's up? Cap, rumor has it you're the new live stream king. I barely live stream. No, Gonzo, Gonzo King. I'm sorry. Gonzo King. Jamie's the Gonzo King. We all know that. Show us the trees. We all <laughs> I am see just the trees. A bit player in the in the universe. <laughs> the Archiverse. That is what's my the, role. What's the word on the streets, Cap? And the JJ verse. Um, I don't know. I popped on. You guys were talking about Farrah Fawcett. Of yeah. course, everyone had the Farrah Fawcett poster. Back in the day, then we graduated to. Then we graduated to. Um, you guys were just talking about her, um, Pamela Anderson. Pamela Anderson. Carmen Electra, we were talking about, and Carmen Electra, but Pamela Anderson for me trumps Carmen Electra. Yeah, she was like the first to do it. Yep. Um, then didn't she do that movie burning? What was it? The burning bed or barbed something? Bar, bar, barbed wire. Oh, barbed wire. Yeah, that's a must. That was watch. Pamela Anderson. 
That's Pam yeah. Anderson at, at her best, absolute best. <laughs> she was um, actually a pretty yeah. decent movie for as it bad actually, a movie it was, as it was. It was a good movie. It was a good movie. Um, and I guess that brings us, yeah, Margot Robbie. I don't know about today. She's hot. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Truly, truly one of my absolute favorites is Holly Berry. James Bond scene. Which movie was that? No Time to Die. I don't know which one she was in. She came out of the ocean. Remember that? Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the butcher. Oh, my God. You may have to cancel and turn the stream. This is becoming uh, double is the, X. Is but, the but I think... was supposed to the one with the red, right? Yes. Yeah. I thought that was the one. That wasn't positive. Though. Not the roller yeah. skate one. The, the one when she's sitting. Not the roller skate. The one when right. she's sitting. Um, I forgot where. If you could pull she's that like, up. Kinda, yeah, I'm, I'm trying to do it now here. Yeah. That was the poster sure on every me. every uh, every boy's you know bedroom wall. All right, let's see here. And then I have because yep, this one that was the one. Yep, the nipple photo. This scandalous. Was the, this was a big deal in the seventies, right? Oh, scandalous! Look at that. Look I'm at those teeth. Back. God yeah, damn! Yeah, she had very nice white teeth. I love nice white teeth. Those have those had to have been, you know, professionally done. <laughs> he's, <laughs> he's, he's great. Oh goodness gracious! It's a great movie Travis to see. Least, that's, your, that's your one and done, though. That's a, that's pretty good. Is this one your and one and done, done Farrah Fawcett? We got to do. Oh, Farrah! I was talking about Talladega, Talladega Nights. That's a good one. That's but good I think movie. you have to categorize it these days in terms of natural versus other. Natural is really the only way to go. I don't. You gotta fake, I, that's what if I, you're think. Gonna fake I think. It's ass, I am not interested. I just. I don't get it. I, I'm I mean, not, you look I, at Farrah Fawcett, hundred percent all natural. There you go. Isn't her daughter? No, I'm thinking of Goldie. Hawn, what's her name? Goldie Hawn's. Goldie Hawn. Hawn? That's no, her, da her daughter. Old she actress. Had, her daughter. Um, she was in uh, Almost Famous. Oh, I used to love her. She was Goldie Hawn's yeah, daughter. She was, uh, married to oh. Chris Robinson from the uh, Black. Yeah, Rose what's her name? What? Say it again. <coughs> I can't remember her name. I just remember the Black Crows reference. You you know her cat? Uh, cat Kate Hudson. Kate Hudson. That's what I'm thinking. Yeah, Kate Hudson. Oh, Kate Hudson. Yeah, I know Chris. Uh, what was Black his last name? Chris from the Black Crows. Chris Robinson. Robinson? Chris yeah. Robinson. Yeah. He's she was the singer from the famous. Black Crows. Oh, I was thinking of Jack White. Are you talking about Why? Katerina Monroe and Casino Royale, Cap? Oh, what's going on? Right, no, I was thinking about? of how I was talking about Holly Berry. Wasn't she in a James Bond movie? I don't know. I have no idea. You got to ask. She was in Die Another Day. Thank you. Uh, that was Pierce Bronson back in the day, like the early 2000s. I like how Ron specifies Natalie Portman in her Ooh, brand, as opposed to from the you. professional where Mike likes her. <laughs> that was, That's I, I shouldn't even be, go back to you that, know that. I don't know. That that might be shit. That's a tough one to beat. She does those commercials, right? The, it's the way up there. Commercials. <laughs> I, see Pat I just remember her from uh, which the Star Wars... Uh, one of the uh, the most what was it? The one with Anakin. I think that's the first one with Anakin Skywalker. I'm not sure. Oh, yeah. Yep. Curly confirms. All right. Well, there's a lot of beautiful women out there. I guess. Yes, there are. We're, we're really <laughs> <laughs> we're drifting off. Like we, the, we could uh, get into porn actresses as well, but I don't know if we want to. <laughs> we'll do that another show. Another, so what else another, we got? Another. What else? What's that? What else is going on? Booker or mergers? <laughs> Crazy, watch right? box. What question do you think about I have that, on Kat? that. Okay. Well, I, I'm still digesting it a little bit, but Watchbox, they're changing their name to what the 1916 company. Like is Watchbox. The brand that name is. I think that's the, going. No, is it I, gone? I, I I think that's the company name that owns Watchbox and. All right, so they have like Gilbert. a parent structure with, and they'll keep, you know, subsidiaries no, or, or they're doing or business. As, yeah, yeah, it, yeah. So it, they'll it keep DBA. Watchbox. Mm -hmm. right. right. So, so Rob, you you got exactly what I was thinking. 
And we're on the same page, Butcher. So Rolex CPO will be every watch they take in will be will be CPO. Right. So I'm thinking if I'm a roll, I have a watch, I have a Rolex, I want to give it to them. Will I get a better price? Because if CPO prices are higher generally than gray, will they give me more for my trade? No. <laughs> no. Why not? Give you more Because the, the, the reason they're charging more for the price is they're going to give you the same as another gray market dealer, but they're going to make sure it's up to standards for, you know. Yeah, it's all about resale. Right. Research. Right, so they'll buy it just like your car that gets seed certified pre owned, right? Put it right. through all 600 service check things and yeah, put I new tires on weird. whether it needs it or not, all that crap. You know? you know, I don't know, but it sounds like by buying those other family owned, family owned, um, I guess they weren't, were they ADs that they bought the family owned jewelers? They must have been resale. They must have been gray as well. Great gray. Well, I mean, to they have to be to, me, the signal... to be CPO, right? Yes, but yeah. I'm trying to figure out to me, what does this mean? What does this signal to the market? Like, I think they're like, I'm playing nice with Rolex. I don't give a fuck. This is the way. This is the I way. I think so. But like, yeah, I think they where wanna, does yeah, that I leave think... everyone else? Is everyone else going to want to hop well, on board thing, and the price is going to go up wanna... now? They want to elevate themselves, right? As we only do Rolex CPO, yeah. but they also have Galberg, which is an AD of, of Rolex. So they have kind of both. But from a Rolex perspective, you're right. They're going kind of upstream and we're going to put this CPO certification that Rolex is going to put on it. Um, but they still are going to sell Omega, you know, tag, yeah. go down to, the line. To me, know, I agree every, with you. I, I think this Tudor. is. Uh... I think uh, I think this is signaling, like you said, they're a little more high class. We're not your backpack dealer. We're CPO. You know? Yes, which is kind of Watchbox's thing, right? I mean, they always right. seem to be more corporate, yeah, more high, buttoned high, up. They're, corporate. The, they're a big corporation. Upper crust. Well, I know, so but I just the way to... that they separate themselves from other types of gray, you know, there's different layer levels of gray market. Right. There's, you know, so hold on. I want to get the super chat from Corrado $2. Thank you, Corrado. Greatly appreciated. We're a little backed up. We've kind of switched okay. over. Good, says, good. Good. Holly Barry and swordfish. There you go. And, uh, movie swordfish, swordfish with is John Travolta. Best cringe movies of all time. I don't even remember it, but I will. Yes, it is. That was a great movie. How many bad was movies that did John movie? Travolta make? Is that make? like computer hacking movie? Sort of. Um, it does have a computer hacking portion to it. Okay. Um, they they uh, they drive around in a British TVR too for face a off portion of the movie. It's it's fantastic. Let's talk, let's talk Travolta bombs. Oh man, face I want off. To take his face off. <laughs> that was a fantastic Nic movie. Nicholas Cage. Anyway, go ahead. Next. If you want to talk about I'm Nicholas done, Cage I'm movies, done, I'm done with the, do la that. the ladies list here. I just wanted to get that in for Corrado. I know he uh, he messaged like, "Oh, sorry, don't read it," but no, I got to read it. Of course, uh, I was a little late to the draw pulling that up, but uh, oh, that was it. I thought we had a, a a backlog. No, no, that was it. Just that one. Okay, just the one. I just What's don't want to let it get through the over. chat. And there's the Mike the Snake, Hot Grits comment. There's Swordfish, Portman. Okay. Kate Beckinsale. So, what topic did I walk away from? <laughs> no, we we we, uh, we actually moved on to. Uh, I was asking. You look angry right now. I don't know. You missed uh, a good segment. I yeah, know I, people I, bringing up like Kate Beckinsale, and I was around for that. <laughs> Might have a problem. Kelly McGinnis or Gillis. Yeah. Man, we've we've actually passed that and come full circle back we, to we're, we were back CPO to CPO, CPO, CPO and, and uh, the rationale yeah. behind the. Govberg, uh, right. you know, I just had a super chat merger. To so let's let's look at that though from a completely different view that we haven't really talked about. Rolex CPO program. Oh, I thought you meant keep back and sell. Okay, Rolex CPO. <laughs> I was gonna pull some. <laughs> okay, I wanted a second view. We're almost towards the wrap up, so let's wrap with watches. Let's stay, <laughs> stay where we're going because we're, we're almost done here. But but think about <laughs> steer the ship. The strength the strength of. Of the secondary market uh, dealer watch box now having a partnership with Rolex 
that gives Rolex some traction too for that program. Oh yeah, I mean, if it's being I, mean I think it's, I, I think I think that is a, I mean, it's it's good for Watchbox, but I think it's also a really good thing for Rolex too. Right, but make no mistake, tell you Rolex is going to ram this down people's throat. Right? They want this to work, and it's going to yeah. work. Did we yep. say it? And, and the yeah. margins are better, as Ali mentioned right. earlier. Let me right. let me tell you what I think. Rolex is preparing to do. Real quiet. They haven't even talked about it all. That's what I think they're trying to do with the CPR program. I think they're going to start challenging in we're using consumer protection laws in California, Massachusetts, and European consumer protection laws. They're going to start challenging the gray market's ability to use the word authentic. And the CPO program will be how they fill that gap. I think that's what they're positioning themselves for is they'll start challenging in in a in a in the court system the ability for places like luxury bazaar and pride opinion to use the word authentic when they're describing a rolex in their inventory that's where i think this is going didn't roman mention that they challenged i thought they had challenged it was it authentic or another word genuine or something he had mentioned this a while Certified? ago I mean, they can't, you can't uh, not be able to say it's authentic if it's a real why. I mean, how could they? Stop there was a name? word that he had mentioned that they did challenge in the past. Um, I forgot what it was. Right, but, but I'm just saying, like, how uh, I'm asking for my own self. Yep. If something's real, how could you not say it's it's authentic? Uh, you know. Um, well, who's authenticating it though? I mean, if it's not authenticated by Rolex, is it really authentic? Yeah. If you make a product. And then you decide to turn around twenty years later and not recognize it doesn't mean it's fake. Yeah, but there is so it's not so fake, but are... it's the word use of the word that I think Ali's mentioning that they're they're branding, they're they're marketing their business using the word like we're authenticating, right? It's authentic. So let's 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 use Amazon as a good example. There's a million things you can you can buy anything on off Amazon, but right. there are certain companies that only sell through specific distributed channels. So Amazon enforces on their website that th this isn't coming from the official distributor, so this can't, you can't call it authentic, even though everybody knows that it is authentic. Huh. Right. All right, but let's just say for argument's sake, uh, you find a Van Gogh painting or whatever. Maybe it's bad because he's not <laughs> alive, but uh, let's just say he's alive. And he's like, well, I'm not authenticating it. That doesn't mean <laughs> someone can't authenticate that it's a real Van Gogh painting. No, but if he, if he holds the trademark and he holds a strong enough trademark, Right, which Rolex really does, mm -hmm. right? Then they're like Disney has the same thing. Then I'll give you a personal example. So, uh, as kind of a gag in my former life, I coined the phrase industrial light and malware, right? Because I used to write attack simulations and malware and whatnot. And Disney said that's way too close to industrial light and magic, and we might want to get into cybersecurity at one point. They literally said that, and they squished the fuck out of us, mm -hmm. right? So Rolex falls into that category. They're mighty in that regard. Yeah, but isn't authentic like, like certified? I can see, right? Because it's not certified by them. But I'm authentic you, is. I think is, they. I think they could do it. I think they legitimately mm -hmm. could do it. They could say that the price of our products and the the margins that people are marking it up, and then also calling it authentic puts consumers in danger. And they could go under like the California consumer protection laws. Massachusetts had some fairly strong laws in that regard. And you're in various European Turkey, for example, which has a massive counterfeit problem. I think they possibly could do it. Be interesting to see. Hey, look, these people like this are going to be in the know. There's a reason why they're jumping on board if they don't need to be right. I don't see anyone who's lining up to pay a premium for a program unless they think they need to. Right. That's kind of where I'm telling you. Watchbox isn't stupid. Right. It's like uh, if you own, but it's a double edged sword, right? Kind of because it's like if you, you can open up Ali's donut shop, right? Or you can buy a Dunkin' Donuts, but you got to follow their rules. It's like, but it's not all negative because opening that does give you drive business your way, right? Having yeah. a Dunkin' Donuts, people know what to expect. There's familiarity that they'll stop from all over and just stop in because they're familiar with the brand. Is it is that a similar concept to what's happening here, or are they similar concept. threatened? So, that, think about it. Or are they threatened though that 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 they have to jump on board because something's like you said. Well, is it's a little bit sideways. of both, right? If you're Watchbox, it's a little bit of both. You're like, well, 
this may happen and this may significantly dampen our situation and we want to work on the margins we want to work on the margins which will accept large, small margins right but then the other aspect is watch box might go hey we kind of want this to happen because it instantly eliminates a ton of competition right so they want to be early to the the table and they'll kind of help nudge it along and maybe watch box because if you think of some other industries right spare parts industries for vehicles before dealerships and service became kind of a, a, a vertical market itself those type of places would show up and they would basically testify against the competition and say yeah we've seen a billion fakes like in our beer business so watchbox could do exactly that right they could completely yeah. turn coat as a way of, of eliminating the competition as well true can i ask an unrelated question because you were talking about donuts if you went uh, real quick yeah. if you had a glazed donut would you would you go if you could only have glazed Duncan or Krispy Kreme? Krispy Kreme. Duncan all the way. Krispy Kreme. I, don't know. I never had a Krispy Kreme donut, so I don't know. Krispy Kremes are too sweet. Straight glazed. Krispy. Well, that's a straight glazed. Donut. Straight glazed. Okay, look, Jeremy, you and I are both walking yeah. around one wrist size away from diabetes. Are you telling me you don't like Krispy Kreme? <laughs> I, I, I didn't say Kreme. I like Krispy Kreme. I like Duncan better. And actually, you know what I'm saying? I just, I think Krispy Kreme glaze are just too sweet. They're just so I've sweet. I've heard people say that before about them. I've just never been there, so I don't know. Um, they just actually opened one not far from me, like 20 minutes away. I just haven't been there. Everyone in the chat is yeah. saying Krispy Kreme. So there you go. All right, enough of this. Let's get down them. to the races. It's time. It is 1130. It's time to get down to business. We are almost two hours in. We got three races to run. Let's stop fighting right. around here so and get down to we've it. already done the cutoff there are no more entries right uh let's give it if you want to get in and you haven't gotten in yet we're going to give you i don't know 30 seconds to a minute some type of leeway get it in now tim hortons there we go i've been there that donut's pretty good <laughs> i don't i know tim hortons coffee i didn't know they had donuts this is why Birmingham heart is great timmy house Let's Let's go to Timmy Lizzo swears by them. I don't know this. Lizzo. I'm going to look Lizzo up <laughs> after this show and see what's going on. Oh, I missed. Uh, I'm sorry. I missed. Uh, whose chat did I miss? Who was that? Shot in the dark. I missed you, shot. Uh, apologies. Sir. I got him in the contest already, but. Oh, oh, sorry about that. Yes, I did miss. Sorry, shot. Uh, shot in the dark, two dollars. Thank you very much, shot. Very kind of you. He says, Good show, be blessed all. Thank you very much, shot. I'm sorry I missed that. Uh, I was distracted by the Lizzo and the donuts and all that shit. But, uh, all right, yeah, we're gonna we're gonna start right. this contest. So, yeah. so I we're gonna pull the first, in. the first race, right? The first race, yes. I will show the two prizes after the race. There are 31 entries for tonight, right? I got the new members. If you signed up for new membership, uh, like Golden Baba did early on. Um, I forget who else it was, right? All that counted. So here are 31 people and it is now, we're going to do 33 seconds because we've got three races to run. Okay. So just real quick, whoever wins this first race is the winner for tonight's entry for the monthly. Yep. Just so you know, who is, um, what, what other prize is this for now? Do we know? I'm going to, at the end of this race, I'm going to show the, the whole prize situation again. Oh, and you're going to give them the first choice, right? Yep. All right, hold on. One so second. we'll give this a I shuffle. Just gotta, I just got to delete these other ones so I don't get confused from last month. Okay, those are gone. All right. Ready? Uh, yes, I am ready to rock and roll here, sir. And they're off. We got, who are these people? I don't know. Are these pilgrims? What's going on here? Anthony <laughs> Thanks, P. Running. Man. Hideki, the Indians and pilgrims. Podcast. Come on now. They are racing. Happy it's Turkey. Thanksgiving. Happy Turkey Day. We are doing the turkey trot here. We got Hideki and LTL podcast neck and neck. But here comes Golden Baba out of the backfield running hot and heavy down the stretch. We got less than 10 seconds to go. Will Golden Baba be able to keep up the pace? It's usually not how it goes. Here comes Anthony P. Cigar fueled. He is ready to go. What the hell is going oh, on? Oh, 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 oh. Anthony P., you are the winner. All right. So, Anthony P., I hope you're still in the chat. Uh, what does he get to pick the. Uh, so, he's he the first to pick one. Between yeah. a Bosphorus. Hold on, let's remove this real quick. And I'm going to put myself over here. It's Pocahontas for the win. A Bosphorus watch roll. It's a single watch roll. 
Oh, very nice. It is brand new. Now, oh, that's really nice. Anthony P, if you're there, I'm going to tell you that it is the oversized version. It's made for people with bigger wrists. It will fit smaller watches, but it's definitely made for bigger watches and bigger wrists. Right? So you can choose between that. It's a very or, excellent gift there. And Anthony P will know exactly what this is. A chrome, brand new, ST DuPont Slim 7 lighter. Oh, very nice. Very nice. That is a beautiful piece right there. Yeah, the retail on these are two fifty two seventy five. So Anthony P, you get to you get first choice. Let's see if Anthony P is in the chat. Do, 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 do. <clears throat> Both of, that's that's a tough pick right there. Well, it's going to a man who has a lot of yeah. lighters. I'm, uh, does he though? That's the thing. Does he have a really good lighter or does he not? I'm gonna guess he does, but I don't know. And you could always use another one or a beautiful Bosphorus roll. They're both beautiful. I mean, those are amazing prizes. I do like that Bosphorus roll. Anthony P, you choose it? Very nice. I just messaged him. I don't know if he's a. Uh... No, he's in the chat. He's, oh, he's in, in the, the chat. chat. He has there. to be the lighter, he says. All right. So again, yeah, we got an ST DuPont Slim 7 new lighter in Chrome. Now, Toyota, mm -hmm. I got good news for you. There's another one. In one of the limited edition Slim Sevens for December, so you got another chance to yeah. going up. All right, so that's Anthony P's. So well, we I guess the whole, I guess the whole idea of giving the lighter with the cigars away is gone, is gone because yeah, he Anthony just saved P, himself yeah. some cigars, right? Yeah, there you go. Unless so he wants to go give back them here, to someone else. We can remove so. the winner from the next race, so we can remove Anthony P, and we can race again. Congratulations, Anthony. Let's P. get it on. So, Anthony, just so you know, you won the day, so you're in – only you are in for the monthly prize. Everybody else is just this is just for today's prizes, which are still very awesome prizes. So, right. all right, let's see who, who wins what. Now, this is – awesome. is this also a choice, or is this for the Bosphorus roll? Or is uh, this, this is for the – well, I mean, they can have a choice, but – Right. It's the Bosphorus roll, the higher value by far. Right, right. Yeah, I was gonna say I don't, I don't, I don't know who would pick that, but good. And they're off round two. Here come the racers, the racing down the track. We got Big George Blondie taking a nap back there, and Bubba Hotep taking the lead. Here comes Burbing Hard and Trooper. They are gaining some speed. Who will win? Look at Mookie turning on the gas. Here come P cars, P cars, Mookie and Trooper. Here comes P cars. P cars is going pretty quick. It doesn't look like he's going to give up. Hideki's trying oh. to gain some speed, but it's not looking good. Here comes Big Sal out of the back, though. He's not playing games. <laughs> oh, he's getting Big it. Sal, hot and heavy. There we go. Big Sal is the winner. And congratulations, because I think Big Sal has a wow. big wrist, and I don't think he really cares too much. So, yeah, it's a custom. It's the oversized Oscar single watch roll. That, that, what is it? The 1921. He's got the rose gold. Yeah, he's got 1921. He's got a lot of great watches. Fit fit right in there i hope big sal is still here is a a panor that's a good panor i watch box right wow. there oh he is in the chat good now right. i have to message him big sal congratulations maybe he wants the tw doll yeah just to make it official so big sal just let us know in the chat do you want the tw bobblehead or do you want the bosphorus leather uh roll which you're pretty sure and journey you you're getting the three watch roll equivalent to that bosphorus with that package it's still due to come to you anyway because I know you're the only other brother with a big ass wrist, so there you go. So All Anthony right. P wants to know: Can we still do a cigar prize race? Yeah, we can if you want. We can. We yeah, could. We, uh, we could do it with the with the with the bobblehead. Whoever wins wins both. You want to do that this way? Yeah, the we do that. Prizes are kind of equal. Yeah. So How about that, Anthony P? We'll we'll do that with the TW bobblehead. Uh, we'll do them together. All right. Here we go. Last Unless race. the person who wins the TW bobblehead doesn't want cigars. Wait. Did you eliminate? Yeah, you got you got him out. Or should we yep. do two races? Uh, let's do the third, and if they want them, we'll combine them. If they don't, then we'll do a fourth. Yeah, okay. if they don't smoke, then we'll uh, we'll do another one. Yep. And they're off one more time. Here we go. Z Man just took a nap backfield, and he's gone. Bear <laughs> Clooney showing off his speed in the back of half of the race. We got Big George and Duco Blondie neck and neck. 
Blondie taking the lead. Can Blondie hold the lead for 15 more seconds? She's got a lot of room on the rest of the pack. She really wants to win that TW bobblehead, and I don't blame her. Toyota Mo says, not so fast. I'm a huge TW fan. Here I come. Toyota Here comes REG. REG in the lead. Here comes Trooper. Trooper takes it. Damn. Oh. Trooper is the winner. Congratulations to Trooper. Trooper, are you wow. still in the chat? Okay, Big Sal confirmed he is taking the watch roll. All right. Hopefully, Trooper is still here. Uh, Trooper, if you're here, uh, please confirm. Do you want any of these prizes? <laughs> Toyota Mo was so upset. I really was rooting for Toyota Mo because he loves cigars and TW. <laughs> that would have been the perfect prize for him. But uh, congrats to our friend Trooper. Uh, hopefully, you're still here. Sorry, Mo. You snooze, you lose. All right, let's see. Is Trooper here? Wah, wah. I don't actually know Trooper or Troopers in the group or anything. Um, Can we kill that music? That's part of the uh, the racing. <sighs> Why, is it bothering you? I thought that was enjoyable. That's you wanted to hear that? I don't know. I was, I was just trying to help you not get a copyright strike, so... No, you wouldn't for that one. Yeah, I think I that's... Uh, no, I made that like up. That was a, that was a if anybody pulse. doesn't know why this is TW, <laughs> you need to subscribe to Mookie's channel. If you don't know why this, is, this isn't this is TW. All right, so I'm making an executive here. decision here. Uh, Trooper just signed up for a uh, steel package today, so we are going to hold this prize on the side. We're going to run a cigar, pri a cigar prize for Anthony P. And if Trooper doesn't respond... Um, We'll figure out what we're going to do with the TW. Maybe we'll do another race another day. We'll give him some time to respond, though. But right. uh, I'm going to make an executive decision and run the cigars uh, for a different race. All right. So let me get... Unless he responds in the quick. next 10 seconds. All right. Big Sal, oh. Trooper, and Anthony P. Get them out again. I'm convinced I would lose every race until there was one one person left. Cap first, Cap. He's still. I'm, I'm over forever on this, on these races. Uh, me, you, and me both, brother. But it's okay, man. Uh, part of racing is just racing, you know. That's yeah. I got it. I got you. That's it. Race or die. Part of the fun. All right. This is the grand finale. Well, not the grand finale. Or, or get the, finale. the widow. Or get the widow maker. Yeah, I'm going to give you a little bit of variety here. We're going to do turkeys. Oh yeah, baby. <laughs> right. Gobble, gobble. <laughs> I've had my some, some. And they're off. Here comes the turkeys down the track. We got Turkey Toyota Mo, Sam Arc 5, Duco Ted, and REG. Here comes Corrado. Corrado's gaining speed. Golden Baba's saying, not this time. I'm going to win it. Here comes Mr. Soso out of the backfield. He's feeling froggy for a turkey. Will he win? Nobody knows. Usually people can't maintain the speed, but today he looks like he's got some energy. Swinton coming out of the backfield, taking off. Swinton. Swinton's off camera. Wins it, but he's off the start. <laughs> I think Swinton's still in the chat. Um, Swinton, if you're in the chat. Swinton's turkey did a line that did a bump before. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I, I think, I think uh, Swinton's still here. If he's not, I, I'll message him. Uh, but uh, yeah, you're good. You get in touch with Anthony P and uh let me just message him. You want cigars? Um, All right, so Anthony P. Anthony P, Big Sal, you guys are both on IG. Uh, I'll get back into my IG in the next few days. If I don't, I know how to find you guys, but uh send me shipping address, shipping information, um, and I'll get stuff out to you next week. There we go. All right, guys, on that note, that happy note, we're going to wrap this puppy up. I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, I might do an early show tomorrow. Got to see how I'm feeling um, and see how you guys are feeling. But, yeah, we might do a, a pre-Archie pre show, a little daytime show for my Euro pals. Um, and then we'll and see how it goes from there. Guys, so talk to your Euro pals, right? JJ has less than 100. I think he's 94, 93 subscribers at 5,000. At 5,000. We give away a limited edition Seiko Save the Oceans. Monica from Right Time might join us for that giveaway. Also, specifically for our European, UK, and APAC customers, we're going to be giving away a 500 pound, pound sterling um, certificate. Pounds? Pounds. 500 oh. pounds. Pound sterling. Right? Don't mess up. 
So six hundred and whatever dollars, right? All right. So, so five hundred pounds of silver. It's like, yeah. what? what are we doing? <coughs> uh, certificate to Perpetual Time, Alex's company. Oh, awesome. so you can use that to service uh, any of your watches. So we've got at five thousand members, we got two fantastic giveaways, and for the people who are at the bronze level and above in the WhatsApp group. At the five, when we hit the 5,000, if they're one of the winners, they also get the limited edition, completely sold out, Globetrotter Hodinkee Collab, six watch and tools case. So right around 5,000, JJ's watch hangout, right, when we break 5,000, is giving away over $4,000 worth of prizes. Damn, that's a lot of stuff. So make sure you subscribe and tell your friends, right? Isn't that how it goes? Yep. All right. We're going to wrap up, gents, until the next time. I hope you guys enjoyed the show. And, um, yeah, well, oh, excuse me. Let's see. What should we go out with? Uh, let's give them something good here. Uh, all right. I got a good one. I think this is suitable for today. Uh, we like this one. Hey, guys. Uh, look what I can do.